I don't know how good they should hear it decent on the on the mic too. Yeah. Are you sure? Nah, bro. Though I'm gonna be honest with you. We gonna get into it. We gonna get to it. But I'm like super hyped for this episode. It's like a real legendary episode to me. Like, real shit, bro. Yeah, I appreciate you, bro. Real shit. Real shit. Real shit. That's why I'm here though. Cause I really. Matter of fact, I don't know. Have you even done one more? One. Have you even done an interview before? Oh, that did one like a, a minute ago, live from the 75 podcast when I first came out. Like, yeah. Yeah. Is that, hold on, wait, now, is that with DJ DC? I didn't even do nothing with him yet, but I've been okay. one of his jams, and that, that's my boy, but I never did no interview with him. I don't know if you've seen, he, he was up here too. Oh, for real? Yeah, yeah. No, that's my boy. I love him. He went to Amazon together. Oh, yeah. I know he got the Amazon, he got the whole business. Like, he got his own business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he was telling me he got it. that. When he first got it, I was just like, the money I got by like all of a tree, maybe everything. I was sweet on that job. I was like, so on me. Yeah. Matter of fact, yeah, I remember now he was telling me uh, before he started his shit, he worked at the shit for a little bit, learned the ropes, learned how to be in the circle in the morning, and I see him, and it's. I already had a name at that point. He's always on the radio. I didn't probably play like three of my records. Damn, man. Got my boy. Man, shout out to DJ DC, man. We playing some uh, unreleased music right now by Alondo Jackson. This from Toxic with Love. We gonna get y'all something. We gonna get y'all something. Thank you for tuning in. Hey. Hey, I appreciate you too on that song, that Love More song, and you letting me know that you kind of like, you was rocking with my voice, because I don't be knowing. I know I can rap, but I know I'm not that good at that part yet. That's but what I was telling you too there. about, like, I was telling you about, like, delusional, even the dreamer joint. Um, like, because yeah. I know, like... You see, I'm trying. I got hit I got hit to you on Julio, which is just okay. bars. The whole, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with your bars. But, you know, I feel like in the... And today's time, you gotta have that melody a little bit, and it's just fun to do. So the way your your voice is on delusional and how you did that, crazy, and then on the dreamer shit too. So I think you're going in the right direction thank with you. with the, like the melodic shit. You know? Yeah, thank you, I appreciate. But staying true to actually having a message and shit, you know what I mean? Like, and what's crazy about all them records you just said, when I'm doing it, none of it is like auto tune vibe. Maybe dreamer got a little bit on it, or maybe it got like some kind of pitch correction, but. Yeah. Should um, I play the uh, the 448 joint? 438, yeah. 438. So on that record right there with Juliet, like she like Mary J. Blige. She like Mary J. Blige to me. So fire. Like one of the dopest like singers that I ever heard of in my life, like in person. And this one right here, I actually worked on her worked with her on my first project too. Um it's on Beauty. It's called it's a song called Beauty and the Truth. But this 438 joint is really called It's Dark Out. And it's, about, it's with my brother, Ty King. He just got out of jail. He did like an eight-year bid. And I was going to tell you about him. I'm a, I want I want him to come up here with you and um you to do an interview with him, too. He like, when I say he's special, bro, special. Like, amazing. Like, I admire him. You know what I'm saying? As an artist, as a human, his story, he OD. I want you to like, I definitely want you to get up with him. And I think you're going to appreciate him once you catch wind of his music. He actually just dropped, too. He just put uh, his project on a um, platform. I'ma send it to you when we leave. But but he from um he from Norfolk? Nah, he from the he from the beach. He from Bayside area. All right, all right. We're gonna get into the uh the 438. Can I tap on that mic one more time, real quick? All right, baby, we good, we good. Hey, you got a uh. Mic. <laughs> Whole lot of Bayside shit going on. Yeah, <laughs> we got one light of three people. We got Osiris in the so cut with us, man. Young Zell to trail, nigga. What is Zell, of course? Yeah, I want to get into that too, how you guys met and shit. Black on black everything, things in the Yeah, switches on glizzies now, stenos in 50 rounds. Hey, niggas ain't safe, don't show your face. No, you fuck with no goofs, boy, just a group. I don't need no shooters, bitch, I'ma shoot. Stun on my team, step on my two. Drunk like a pan, 
Cause I'm out of rule. I'm all in my pocket, this city divided, and young boy been sliding. They don't have no guidance. I'll murder the faculty moving in silence. I add that a violence. If one of my fallen a field, we collide and we dying in the day, though we live in a die. Pain a few mamas and lost you got. I'm just a product of nothing. It's promise. I always been solid. My blood's clotted. Love the parts. Guns are ported. Joy and a cotton. My clothes are done. My bitch will bought me. My little one retarded. It would been a problem, though. Add up emotion. They kill for some product. Get your ass up out the car, nigga. Get the fuck out. Yourself, this flow is just Break amazing, yourself. bro. It's impeccable. This bro you were just talking about? Taking. What's the Taking? Taking. What's the logic? Just send the specifics. I start through your district, district and shoot to the clear. clear. My little nigga itching and chasing the image. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Taping for rent, so I'm not too descriptive. They talking, they listen. I've been off the hinges. I still keep a stick with it. You can cut it up a little bit, bro. I'm still in the trenches. That all is convicted. The car be constricted. If ever contention, I'm socially distant. I know they pretending they not really fitted. The family knitted. I'm standing on business, free hanging in fences. I just bought some stanchions to send niggas pictures. I'm really committed. The homies demented. I shoot for myself. They gon' shoot 'cause they with me. Julio, yeah. We come from poverty, never was poor. Running some millions to settle the score. I used to love her, don't love her no more. After I fuck her, won't fuck her no more. Used to be hurting, ain't hurting no more. Work with the plugs, used to work at the stores. A minister puts it on mercy, they whores. He got enough bodies to work in the morgue. And the NFA just cut off. That's all Sheesh. good. It's all good. It's all good. I That's the part I really wanted you to just hear him. He fired. Come on. Hold up. He the one. Ty King. Ty King, he the one I'm telling you. He said he just dropped to what he uh, what he just dropped. Is it a single or? Um, it was like a uh, EP, and it's called like it's like twelve six twenty one. Um, that was when he got released. He had to do like an eight year bid, but he'll tell you about all that. But that joint is like nine tracks up there, bro. When you get a chance, I'm gonna send it to you. You gonna yeah. be like, I'm putting everybody on to him. He's so fire, bro. He might uh. he potentially can be like one of the greatest ever. I swear to God. I fuck with him, man. I feel like yeah, we got like. We got a lot of those people in the area, bro. Like, I feel like including yourself, where, like, I think I was telling Deddy something like this, where it's like, it's clearly motherfuckers have, star, uh, like, star-level talent, but it's like, for some reason, like, we hit a ceiling. It's, like, hard to break out the... It's hard to break out the city. I don't know why, like, why it is that way. Like, even, yeah, like, we're talking about Crazo, we're talking about, like, people that really should, like, should be everywhere. Yeah. But it's like, they hit the ceiling, like... I don't really know what it is though. That's the crazy part. I can't even really tell you what it is, but I knew you was gonna say that. But like, even like, man, I don't really know what it is. I think we probably all just gotta like, man, I don't know, man. I don't really know the answers. I know for me, I'm gonna just keep working and try to like network as much as I can and and brand. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Hey, what a light that, Brody. Yeah, but it's a lot of people that deserve it, though, Brody. Yeah, because like I feel like deserve it, like, like Rezo. even like with you, I feel like you. For me, at like the peak when like you was kind of buzzing in the city was like was like probably like what 2018, 19? around that time. Like, 17, I feel like 18, yeah, like I feel like Glass 19. TV was probably, that's probably where I got hip to you, which is uh, Glass posting you. Mm. So I'm seeing Julio. That's the first thing I heard from you, like, and I was like, who is this guy? You know what I'm saying? That's why I was like. Even the video, like to me, the video that that video was crazy. Like, um, like how he had the snow going upside down. I yeah, always thought that shit was Vid like Lord. some Call of Duty shit. That like, was Vid Lord vibe. That was all Vid Lord on that part. That was super creative of him. I was so hyped when he sent that back and he did that. I'm like, the fuck. But a lot of that that video too, we had kind of like helped direct too. You know what I'm saying? It was it was you know the backstory to that. So Julio, yeah. What? Man, it was man. I don't really want to go too much into detail with it for real, for real, because ultimately. What's how the song got like to, for the song or the video? Um, the song, the song, the video was just like all uh, vibes, you know what I'm saying? And it was like the heat of the moment. But the song, it was just like, you know, I was so like I said, I came out 2017, bust up. That was my like first joint that went crazy. But that was my second video I ever did in life. My first video was called Butter. You know what I'm saying? I kind of I was out tower the pot where I'm from. I'm from like three places for real, for real. Like Tower to Pop, Huntersville, Bayside. You know what I'm saying? So, but so that's why, like in Julio, you'll see like me out Tower to Pop in the village. But I'm, that's what I'm saying. There's a lot to that little story for real, for real. But I came out 2017, January. I dropped Butter. Then um, I was still in college. So, what, what college did you go to? Brian and Shad. I used to hoop for them. What? Where's that at? 
uh, it's a location on the beach. Okay, okay. I think they starting to extend. Like it's starting to get or expand. I said it's then it's starting to expand. So okay, it's oh, you got like a scholarship for um, hooping there? Or? Yeah, I earned it though. My first year, I didn't. I had I was just working a job, and then um, Coach CJ, he was there before he got to Norfolk State. But that was who had, he was like the head coach at Brian and Stratton and I was going to the open gyms. He had gave me the opportunity and I was in there just like cooking niggas. Oh wait, I never I never heard of people doing that. So wait, you went there for one year without a scholarship and then- Yeah, like, yeah like, cause I, I came I late. I know that's a thing. I came late, so around the time I came, they gave all the scholarships out. You know yeah. what I'm saying? There was a lot of the players that was from around here that probably made all tied water or all whatever, whatever district that they played in. You know what I'm saying? Like we had it like, we had a decent team though, but like I said, I was in there cooking them, so I earned a spot on the team. Then, um, but I still had to like take out loans and shit like that. And um, but my second year, I came back. They gave me a scholarship. They so gave me a scholarship. It was a partial one, but it it paid for most of the year for, for the most part. Like you finished, like you got a degree and stuff. Or? Yeah, I got an associates. Yeah, and you played the whole the whole four years. It was a two year. Oh, two years. So it was yeah. a junior college. So after that, I was gonna go. Um, to like a university, but Boss Up came out. So I just thought, I'm like, in my head, I'm like, damn, I'm about like to bomb. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. out of here. You know, I done met Push by that point. Family, me and Family, real close. We like real close. Like, that's family. So the whole way through, he been guiding me. You know what I'm saying? Even now. So when I'm about to put my foot on the gas, I just seen him and Push on Grammy Street a couple weeks ago, pushing the Maybach. Bought a daughter. But him and Push out that bit. And I go up to him, chop it up with him. He like, bro, basically drop, just go. He's like, what you holding on to the music for? It's like, like you can't do it again. You can't go back in the studio. I'm like, yeah, I can do it again. You know what I'm saying? Here, yeah. so December I want to drop. Like, it's gonna be a good amount of songs in between 12 and 24, new songs. That was I just played like three on for you though. But I'm gonna call that Matt Tub. Yeah, yeah. So. So the hoop dreams was first. You you coming up between so but all three of those places were between you said Norfolk and Virginia Beach, right? Yeah. Can I push this back a little bit? Yeah, you, it can move how you want it. Right. Yeah. yeah. Scoot up, huh? Um so you had the hoop dreams first. Yeah, yeah, damn right, bro. I've been hooping all my life. That kind of just guided me, navigated me through. Cause I seen videos that you post on like social media of you hooping and I've always been thinking like, yo, he I feel like he's decent at hooping, but I didn't know you actually used to hoop for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a fucking monster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. Yeah. I'm joking. I'm alright though. I'm alright though. I could play anywhere though, and um and and eventually get to the point where I'm shining. Down a little bit too. Gotcha. Like, and I I get to, now I get to the point where I'm shining. But the way I am with basketball, bro, I'm completely different with music. In what way? Like I gotta like a like music. I gotta like a humble approach because ultimately I feel like it's like guys, um way of using me is like I'm a vessel sometimes I don't use it in the right way I don't use my gift in the right way because I'm human but I feel like it can be taken away I don't know how I got as good as I am you know what I'm saying I know I'm good because of what people say you know what I'm saying question on that what in what ways do you feel like you, you've used your gift in the wrong way mm, you know you know when you might life can impact you a certain kind of way or certain situations and You'll take them frustrations and you'll try to channel it inside of the music. You know what I'm saying? It's like like a song like 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 putting negative energy in the music. Negative energy. Like like Julio. Like I would I would approach Julio differently today. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, it was a backstory to that. So, you know Ty Pretty? Uh, I don't. So he a rapper, he from the beach, right? He also was locked up for for a long time or whatever. But he dope. He he was like battle rapping like some like recently sometime. That's my dog now though. Like I fuck with him. He a real good dude. Um, but he had just got out at the time and I think like he like he did a long bid, so he had like that mentality. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what it was for real, but he was like, who hot? He like a uh uh when it comes to like a competitive nature, and I, I like I appreciate it because that's how I am in basketball. You know what I'm saying? But he like Real, real competitive. So I guess when he got out, he was on some shit like, who hot? You know what I'm saying? At the time, I'm hot. You so know what I'm saying? was like in response to that? Not even really, because I was, I was just, 
I started to get groovy on that bitch. In the beginning of Julio, I already had that. You know what I'm saying? But then it's like the, the whole second half was when all that stuff was going on. But like, he came at me. You know what I'm saying? He came at me. And yeah. Matter of fact, I feel like I hit you up at the time. Damn, you remember this? This was like years ago. And I, and I remember I asked you, I said, are you talking about Bebe in this? Do you remember that? And you was like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm not talking about Bebe. I think I do remember you saying that, bro. I think, <laughs> hey, cuz, I think I do remember you saying some shit like that, though. But yeah. yeah, nah, nah, nah. I don't, yeah, nah, nah. Hell nah. Yeah. Okay, but, okay, so Bossed Up came out. How long were you rapping, like, when you start rapping, like, till you dropped, like, Bossed Up? Um, shit, I was in the studio for probably, like, two years at the time. That, that I first got in the studio, like, 2015, like, a... A actual studio like we used to go to people cribs and like it'd be like um the studio in the closet with the um mic with the sock over the mic you know what i'm saying we was doing shit like that but our actual studio 2015 so like i said i started dropping that stuff 2017 my first video was january 2nd 2017 that was butter yeah you know i mean bossed up came after that but I had did a freestyle that went viral around here. Like in oh, that's the one with the dude with like the monkey hat on or whatever. Yeah. yeah. So I did that freestyle to grinding. Mind you, I already met Push. You know what I'm saying? Because I was I'm, I've been close with Fam. So Fam took me to Shad Fest 2016, where I met Bia and Pusha T. You know what I'm Bia? saying? Yeah. I just got hit to Bia like I want to say like two years ago when they Bro. did. I don't know if you remember they did that free show. I think at the Coliseum. Mm-hmm. It was like no, Gu- it was at the scope. Yeah, Guap Dad was there, Bia was there. There's a few people, but I, sh- I took a picture of her. Though. But yeah, she far. You say so? I don't know. She probably did something different. I know she was at the scope that November because I was up there. They was doing like a freestyle joint, and that like me gifted hands, Ma P, all of us was in the back like freestyle. I feel like I remember that. Yeah, we was like like having fun in the back. And so you like okay? That. So you went to uh, Shag Fest with family. Or yeah, I, 2016, fam. Cause so fam I, from the village. Yeah. So you know I said I'm from Huntersville too. Yeah. I grew up out the village. So it was like I was out tired apart first. <clears throat> for like the first five, six years of my life. Until like what? First grade. Second grade, I went to J Cox. That's when we moved out the village, which is Huntersville. You know what I'm saying? And I went, I was staying out Huntersville from second to the sixth grade. That's when I moved out the beach in seventh grade. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I'm I'm growing up and making a name in different places. Cause I'm playing sports and I'm good at it, making friends. My mama, uh, man, don't, my mama always kept me straight. So it was like I was always like jaw like people knew who I was, but I was quiet. But I was still like have some kind of like a like a like a just an aura around me. I don't even know if it, it was like a popular, but it was like an aura to where all the popular people would have gravitated towards me. So it was like, you know, that type of vibe, I guess. I don't know, but... I feel like your music is, like, super, um, like, introspective, too. Were you always kind of like that, or did that kind of come as you got older? Can you elaborate on that? Just, like, I feel like you talk about a lot of introspective stuff, like, on some, like, deep stuff. It's not really, like, just, like, surface-level bars. It's more, like, self-aware. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, yeah, I think, I think that's... Um, it's just kind of like who you are. Yeah, who I am, for real, for real. But to answer your question, what I was rapping for ten, like I've been rapping for a minute, for like over like ten plus years. And so I'd be like, it's not, I, I'm not like new to this, like as like people may think I am. You know what I'm saying? It was like from 11th grade, which is 2011, to 2015 when I first got in the studio, I was writing. You know what I'm saying? So about six, five, six years. You know what I'm saying? And what? 11, 2000, four years. It was like four or five years I was writing. No, I was writing before that too, though. Like, I think I wrote my first rap, right, when I went to J Cox. So you remember I said I went to J Cox in between second grade and sixth grade? And, yeah. J Cox, I graduated from J Cox and then I went to um, Lafayette Middle, sixth grade. So, um, but in J Cox, <clears throat> my stepdad, like, his, he hung with like, they were called Gun Gang. And um, it was one of the rappers in Gun Gang. I don't know. I would just listen to the music. I love my stepdad so much. It's like anything he loved, I love, right? So it was one dude that was just fire. I don't even remember. Maybe his name, it was like, I don't know. It was, maybe it was, I don't know. I don't even want to say his name because I know it was a lot going on with that shit. But yeah. I remember writing his verse down and remembering the verse and going around people and rapping the verse as if it was like me. Magician? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But look, they like, damn, but I'm young though. You know what I'm saying? So they like, this nigga crazy. You know what I'm saying? But 
ever since then, I just, I, I like loved it. But I wasn't writing every day. It was like, I would write. So after that, I probably ain't write another rap until probably three or four years from then. You know what I'm saying? But I probably was rapping, like really writing songs and stuff like that six years before I popped out here, which was like Man. 2017. So I was already polished, but my sound wasn't polished. Like the way Bossed Up sound and the way Love More that I just played you, it sounds like, so like, different. Like the mix and shit? Not the mixing, yeah. but my voice. It's okay, just, yeah. You know what I mean? It's just maturing and growing and learning. It's, it's just crazy too how uh, this thing always kind of calls you back. Like you put it down for a little bit. Like I feel like I put music down for like a year or two at a time before tune is like, it's like, it's like you can't walk away from it. Yeah, I love music, bro. I'm in love with music. I'm in love with music, bro. I really love music. It's like, even just like, this, it's the sounds. It just does something to me. I don't know, it's crazy. Like, see, that's the thing about me. That's why I think I'm good. It's, it's because I really, really fucking love music, bro. I swear to God. Like, it's because how it make me feel. It's like it does something to my spirit, and I feel like I'm very spiritual. But that's why when I say, like, if I use my gift the wrong way and I understand it and I've been, it's like, I be feeling like I'm probably, like, taken away from the love because I'm adding too much of negativity, the envy, the whatever. You know what I mean? All that shit over there. You know what I mean? So the stuff that doesn't really matter. Yeah, it don't matter. It don't matter. And I'm I'm understanding that now. Heavy. And it's like, it comes to a point, too, when you when you do this shit for long enough, you actually just grow up as a person. So your 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 mindset yeah. really changes around life. You look at life differently. So you're gonna that's gonna reflect in your music too. Like yeah, that's why I said though. But that's why I said um, like even how I came with like Julio. I ain't really even like finished that whole story out or how that even yeah. um, happened. But I would approach it differently now. You know what I'm saying? It would be like smarter. It wouldn't be. See, I feel like. I'm saying like the the music selection and I feel like what I would do now, I'ma love it, love it. Like years from now, like parts of Julio I don't love cause I was mm. a, a attacking. I was just on go, you know? Yeah. But that's interesting. But that's interesting. but yeah. I love the song cause it's me. You know what I'm saying? I love my shit. But parts of it is just like, you know what I mean? Especially when you grow like, like I said, now me and, me and him got a relationship. So it's like, Oh, so that's mainly centered around this. No, nah, no, nah, that ain't guy. just centered around it. Like I said, I was already working on a song, yeah. but I just started adding pieces and like just mixing it. You know what I'm saying? Just started, just made it to a song and then like was doing my little shit in, in between that. But that's what I'm saying. When dude, when dude get out, dude, like he come at me, boom, mention me and everything, cuz. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't know him. When niggas thought he was like on some other shit. So we was on some other shit. You know what I'm saying? But. It was all it was it was it was all love at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? So after we got our words out and exchanged, we talked like men and we kinda like just grew a relationship from there. Like he cool as shit. Like the way he like take care of his kids and shit like that. It's like that it, it inspires me. You know what I mean? I love my baby so much. You know what I'm saying? So when I see any other kind of man taking care, of, you know what I mean? It just gotta respect it. Yeah. You gotta love it. So like you, I said, you got one son, right? Yeah. No, two. Okay. Yeah, his his brother. You know what I'm saying? So like, I came in his life when he was three. So I consider him mine. Yeah. yeah. Bro, you tell my bro got a you got a stepson too, right? Yeah. Yeah, I consider him mine. He mine. How you feel like uh just having kids like affected you? <clears throat> See, I lost my dad when I was six, right? So I feel like that's one of my, that's been one of my dreams. Is that my bad? Just cut you off. Is that who's on the cover of? Yeah, Forever Souls. He everywhere. Okay. He everywhere. Yeah. On a cover of Julio. He Julio. Oh, that's what. So he went by Julio. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's yeah, crazy. Yeah, okay. Yeah. He Julio. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So that's why I'm like now I'm starting Lil Julio, the Soul Child, and the Soul Child came from Poe Boy. That's my brother too. You know about Poe Boy. That's what that be in your videos. He he, he gets super hype. Like turn turn. Yeah, but like I never met him, but I fuck but he his own right special there. person. He just like that's his love for me that he's showing y'all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But he his own special person. Like. When we all get to that point, he gonna be his own OD, and he got his own message. He the one for real, for real to me. You know what I'm saying? That's like one of my biggest inspirations too. That's one of the people that shaped and molded who I became in life. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of like 
Yeah, that's my twin. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. So Forever Souls, the um, project that's kind of like a ode to your to your dad. Yeah, it's a it's a message. It's one of them things where it's like you're gonna live forever through me, through Shiloh. You know what I'm saying? Then hope, <clears throat> and I'm sure Shiloh gonna be the same way. Like I'm gonna live forever through him. You know what I'm saying? Then we just gonna keep the generation going. You know what I'm saying? So it's like Forever Souls, and also the music. You know what I mean? You want the music to last forever, especially when you love it. You want people to love the music forever. You don't want it to just come and go. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, Forever Souls is just like representing that foreverness. And we're a soul child, you know what I'm saying? So the soul and even the music, the type of music that we've been working on and making. But I'm going I'm to start to like try to create like the best and the biggest music that I can make. So it's going to start to expand and probably sound different, but that soul going to always exist forever. Yeah. yeah. I know. We, okay, I know. So we, we bouncing around a little bit. Okay, so you drop. Um, that's fine. Yeah, you. That's how I talk though. So that's yeah, how our interview got to be. No, like, I love it. I love it. Um, so okay, we might go back to certain situations. Come. Yeah. Back, you know what I mean? That's just how it goes sometimes. Yeah. So okay, you dropped the joint and then go back to college. Um, what was, what was your mindset at that time? Like, like okay, it didn't. You didn't blow up how you wanted at that time. Like, so it was like okay, I got. It. What was your approach then? Like. What do you mean? What do you mean? Can like you when that? you dropped the joint, you said you, you you thought you was about to boom, so you didn't even go back to college. Yeah, I just I graduated. I had my associate, so like I ain't even like try to. I can probably go back now. I never just, you know what I mean. Yeah. I graduated with honors and everything, so I think that'll probably help. But no, I mean just like not like how like not blowing up how you thought you were at that time. Like how how were you thinking about it at that time? Like how'd you move forward? Mm, I think. That's been like this stretch until this point. I feel like if I'm answering it the right way. Yeah. That's been a stretch up until this point. But now I feel like I'm in a space now where I'm understanding myself in the best ways I can. Trying to regain that power and love for myself all the way. You know what I'm saying? I'm in that stage of creating a certain kind of peace around myself and everyone I love, you know what I'm saying? And try to use my mind, shopping my mind tight time, but, and just working on the music. So that's why, like, I ain't never really even think about, like, college until recently. And I was thinking, like, I might, I would want to do something like Morehouse, you know what I'm saying, if I was to go back to college and try to, I think I would like major in something different in business because that's what I graduated with. Yeah. It would be some. I think I would try to do something like within engineering. You know, you know, you know. That'd be hard. That'd be hard. Some, I didn't even go. To, I brought graduated college, went straight to. Um, I became an electrician. You know you what, what I'm saying? saying? Just learn to trade. That pay for. And I just like I feel like it's good to know a skill. That you Definitely. can always fall back on. You know what I mean? Some shit that's always going to be needed. Like. Yep. And that's why I said I would probably change my major into so I can, like, learn a skill that, yeah. you know what I mean? A business, too, though. Business is a skill, too. Knowing how to, you know what I'm saying, handle business, run businesses. Yeah, um, yeah definitely. All the different shit. What's some shit you remember from that? Like, you... Well, like, from, school? Yeah, from, like, yeah, so you learn about business. you remember anything? Um, shit. Life is, life is, is, is business at this point in time. Every single, like, everything is, like about business. So I feel like, I think it's just about the way you apply yourself. You know what I'm saying? I think that's what I, I, I learned the most, just um, preparing yourself and organizing things a certain kind of way to get shit done and execute. You know what I'm saying? At a high level. I think that's what I probably, I'm still learning. I'm still learning. I'm still learning on What's this. What's some shit you do just like um having kids? I'm assuming you're having a job, like um, yeah, just the balance. Any thoughts on just like the balance between personal life and fucking chasing, chasing his dream? Hmm. Can you say that again? Just like the balance between like your personal life, family, stuff like that, and then like pursuing a dream. Pursuing a dream, yeah. I feel like it's all one. 
Yeah, I feel like it's all one. I think, and I feel like my support system is just all kind of, it's like full circle. It just revolves into one thing. You know what I'm saying? It's not really, like, I, it's like all my love is in all of it. You know what I'm saying? Now it's just like a process and it's just happening. It's a journey. You know what I'm saying? I can't rush um, greatness and anything that's meant for you won't miss you. I don't know if that even makes sense with what I'm answering, but no, yeah. sometimes, sure. like I said, I might, that's just how I talk and I think. So if it comes to my mind, I say it, if it makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah. I fuck with, um, okay. Uh, I know a couple people I know that you like that you work with. Um, I know you, you work with Zell Two Trails. I asked you how you kind of met Zell and um and Daddy for real. I know Daddy shoots a bunch of your videos. Yeah, shoot. I'm trying to think. When did Zell? It was maybe. Around 2017. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Zell just sent me some beats, bro. And I listened to them, and it was so fire. And like one of the first ones he sent was Cray Cray with me and Breeze Barker. Oh yeah, yeah. And I'm, I love that song too. Breeze ran that shit. That nigga, he like one of my he, favorite. He rappers. really run everything for real. Yeah, yeah, Breeze one of my favorite rappers, um, from home. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I got a lot of favorite rappers from home for real though. Like people sounds these. Hey, hey, we got some talented. Hey, these niggas nice out here, cut in the females. You know what I'm saying? Like, as far as like the talent, bro, because I be listening to music everywhere. Virginia got a lot of talent, bro. It's just like, mm, it's I something like, missing, though. Huh? It's something missing, though. Like, we have the talent. Like, we all trying to find our way. But though. I feel like people been saying that for years at this point. I think it's what starting we, to come together, missing, bro. bro. I think it's starting to come together. I think everybody is like moving into their own right now. And I feel like we gonna be the ones, that's what I'm saying. When when you saying it, we gonna be the, it's like waiting for us, you know what I'm saying? So we gonna be the ones that's gonna make it what, what it feel like it's been missing, I'm telling you. I can see like eight of us being major, like like on a major levels. Creating, shit. creating like on high levels, you know what I'm saying? And some of, some of Man, I can see a lot of us doing that shit now. Just like, awesome, real new era shit, like the real. Bro, it's a lot of it's a lot of talent out here, bro. And then some people are just starting, but they you can see that they good. And you, and with me understanding music, the more you do it, the better you get. You know what I'm saying? So if you just stay consistent in doing it, you gonna get better. I mean, that's, that's anything though. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. But like with like music, like yeah, that's with anything for real. But like I don't know if as long as people continue to do it and try to create and compete with what they yeah. they old selves, you know what I'm saying? And just try to study by listening to other kind of music and how people, like this is what I do, listen to how they talk, you know what I'm saying? Listen, understand where they come from and where I come from and try to see how we the same and I don't know, that's how. Are you, trying, are you saying what you do to study to get better like musically? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm saying like if people like, do these things, you know what I'm saying, to get better. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> bro, a lot of people too I've seen like just um I know a few talented people that were just like life gets in the way. I think you kinda maybe touched on that a little bit earlier, like Damn right. Where like that's what happened. That's bro, damn like, right. I was damn and that, right. And it's what? like cause sometimes it can take so long where you really gotta be dedicated for years. And sometimes people just have Hey, bro, More music is expensive, time, like, bro. It's expensive. Not even past money is expensive. It's expensive on your time and your energy. You gotta put. It, gotta be, it really gotta be your life. That was fire. You know what I'm saying? Like when, when that was fire. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dog. Like when you, when you went, hey, like, dog. That was fire, bro. Right like here, honestly, dog. even like even like my parents. Like sometimes, even like with the podcast and stuff I'm doing, they'll be like, like you thinking about it too much. I'm like, no, I'm not thinking about it enough. Like the only way this is gonna happen is if this is my life. There is nothing else. Like this has to be number one. And sometimes that can be hard when you have kids, when you have different Absolutely, stuff. Like, bro. Absolutely, bro. Absolutely, brother. It doesn't make it impossible, but sometimes I feel like it can slow it down a little bit. And we all fighting against time a little bit, not for real. Because you talking about, I agree. Like you want to make, I want to make sure that lasts forever. Like you were saying earlier. Like, like, well, well, what, what my brother Rob Hill is trying to help me understand is just like, 
with music, as long as you loving it and you really creating from a place of like purity in a way, like your pure self, you know what I mean, your true self, and not being afraid of that, it's like we'll be good. Rob always say like we're not working against time when we what when you making music a certain kind of way, time isn't a factor. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's just like you gotta understand certain people make it at different they re they become ready later in life. You know what I'm saying? It's just like maybe it's something that they didn't grow about themselves yet that they wasn't ready when they was younger. And it's like then they get older and it's like this they time. You know what I mean? Maybe as a maybe as a pocket, a good example is like two chains. You know what I'm saying? It's like yeah, it took him. It took him a while to really get to that. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. Sometimes it just depends on who you are. Some people ready early. Some people talent ready early. You gotta understand this shit is spiritual. So it's like wherever this shit is coming from. You know what I mean? Like this shit is all spiritual though. And I and I be learning this from like my auntie. I think she is like see like cause I be like inspired, inspired, inspired by like many people. But like just as far as who I am and who I be become from a spiritual standpoint, my auntie is like the, you know what I mean? She is like the the revolutionary inside my mind, Nubia. My auntie Nubia. She out here, she out here. But that's what I'm saying. She keep me, she keep me intact on a spiritual level. I think that's why I like my music is introspective, like you said earlier, because how I grew up with her, be, being beside her, like, and her teaching me certain things spiritually. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. It's just who I am. Do you, do you feel like it's, it's room in the game, or not even room in the game, but like, we might be going back to that. Like, I feel like we go through different phases in hip hop, or it's like different things are relevant at the time, different vibes, like it could be the party vibe, or like, but that whole spiritual and even saying spiritual, I feel like it's kind of it sounds cliche in today's times. Like I'm spiritual, you know what I'm saying? I can't yeah. like just because it's so used a lot. But it's really just that connection with all things, like with and with yourself, like and yeah. that you are connected. So it's like, yeah, is there room for that to become the cool thing to do again? Like I don't know. Like I don't know. We might be going back towards that. Yeah, man. I think it, I think it really just depends on. What you focus on and what you see, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's that's the like top of the totem pole, like close to the top of the pole, totem pole in a way, for me. You know what I'm saying? Thinking in that kind of manner or feeling that kind of way, like with the way our generation is. I ain't gonna say top of the totem pole, but with the way our generation is, it's like love is not even like the cool thing. It's like, I've been saying that too. It feels like even now, like family structure and families aren't like, like people kind of like devaluing that now. Like, like that's not cool. Like, but to me, that's cool. So, like I said, it's a maybe it's about what you focus on because ten years from now, if that's what's cool to me, and that's what I'm doing, and then maybe it get back to that place where it was or it get to where it need to be. It's like I'm right. I'm right. You know what I mean? And this is what I. This who I am. Family, or like, yeah, or maybe I'm, maybe it's our job too, kind of just I guess to instill that in the next generation, like your aunt did with you, like yeah, like, you know what I'm saying. But it's it's just so tough because of what what like you said, what is cool. You know what I'm saying. You know what's cool out here that violence, vengeance, um, betrayal, all the all the malicious the malicious shit, the shit that that shit that divides us. Yeah, you know. But that's how the world is, though. That's what we live in. So it's just like, me, that's what I'm saying. I be on some shit, like, I be trying to figure out, like, all right, because it's so much history, and I don't know I don't know enough. You know what I'm saying? Like, just even say ancestral, like, my, like, I don't know enough. You know what I mean? But I do know me. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like with me knowing myself, I'm closer to my ancestors. You know what I'm saying? I can't, you know? But... Not even, not even just that. It's like a lot of knowledge and information a nigga just don't got. I feel like 
that I, I'm I'm working on that's probably in books. Like I'm gonna start. I be start. I'm trying to start like reading a lot. Yeah, I want to start reading more too. Rod, Rod Hill. I got a, I got a book in there. That's a, a cool book if you want to read. Um, I actually like. I read this book in like two days. Just because like, I was that interested in it. And maybe because I'm biased. I'm from Bosnia, but it was this girl, uh, this lady from Bosnia. I'm from Bosnia. I don't know if you know know that, but um, so she's actually the same age as my mom, and she was in the war in Bosnia, and um, she actually helped at the UN base. Like she lived in a town where they had the UN base. And um, yeah, she basically got out of there after the war. Came to America, like became got like a PhD, became like a professor, and wrote a book on her on her life and the war and stuff. Um, it's a fire as well. It's called the cat I never named. And the theme that kind of ties into the book is there was this cat they actually had, and it kind of like what was the title again? The cat I never named. And the author, his name is Amra something. I forgot her last name. Amra something. <laughs> You guys showed me that after. after uh, the show. And I'm, then, like, I'm so the cat, the cat kind of like indirectly saved her and her family's life a few times, like during the war type shit. Like, for real, that's like the kind of this theme that flows throughout yeah, it. But it's about her whole that's life. Interesting like, as shit. Um, but yeah, what's some books that? What's your what's the last book you read? I appreciate that, Brody. Uh, I just finished reading The Alchemist for the second time. I read that. I read that, like this year. Yeah, like, yeah, like. I really Freelo, fucked with yeah. that too. Like how. I fucked with how they tied the story, the messaging into the story. Like it was, yeah. I feel like it was hard. Yeah. yeah, it was just, it was soulful for me. You know what I mean? I feel like it was a spiritual journey. You said for the second time, would make you want to read it again. Yeah, no, nah, real talk, because like, that's what I'm saying, Rob, and Rob be putting me on, like, I've been learning so much from Rob and how I move. You know what I'm saying? I might, I might like, stray away sometimes, but like, even like him, like the positive, people in my life and, and spirits inside of my life always kind of just help me into the right direction, right? So it's like, he always said like, when you read, say like when you read, you you always see something new the second time or the third time or the fourth time. It's like, cause you're not just gonna take everything in the first time. Like you're gonna to be able to doing. understand probably how the story go, but you're not gonna catch everything that you need to catch inside of it. Or you're not gonna remember you caught that. That was interesting unless you writing it down, taking notes. I do that too. You do that? No, I didn't. Oh, you should. You I, should. I, I'm not really that much of an avid reader, but I got it. Nah, but it's just gonna help. Yeah. But I'm when I'm talking to you, I'm talking to me. Cause mm. I might say the right shit sometimes, I but I, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> when I'm talking to you, I'm talking to me. But it's just like the, the the good things I feel like I take away. But man, just try to like like I said, the alchemist though, and um, and that's why I feel like I'm at in life right now. That's why I'm calling my next project Matt Tub. It was written because was it? it was written. Okay, yeah, that was inside of the alchemist. I can't remember now, but okay. So it's like a couple of like the um. Characters like say the alchemist or Santiago, the kid that was on the journey, yeah, would scream Matt Tub, or he would think from like say, it's like it's like with the king, right inside of the story. I think you know, remember, see that's what I'm saying. You got to read it again Tell so me. you can catch Matt Tub. I got to read it again. Saying. So if y'all read it a second time, Man. now y'all gonna like remember. So for me, yeah. in another way, like how I can connect with it with just how I'm inspired by like what Nas do, and his second album was what. Right. You get what Thank I'm saying? You, so it, it was written. What Matt Tub is just like I'm feeling that shit. I'm making it it's it's all connecting for me. Yeah. Like even like I like what see like remember I said I stray off when I when I'm talking, it's just how I do, but like so if you like if you notice like say like on Twitter, I like I try to catch numbers like eleven, eleven, four, four, four. Sometimes I might just say what I'm thinking or whatever, but for the most part, if I'm tweeting, it's gonna be what I'm thinking, what I'm feeling, something positive at that time. So like when y'all like go on my joint and I can show you my joint. I feel like you tweet a lot, and I feel like you capitalize every letter or every word. I do. I do. Uh, okay. So yeah. like that's why I be feeling. <laughs> so look, if if this why I be like no, cause yeah, I do though. I do though, and I've been doing that for a minute. Cause I've been doing that for a minute. That's just the way I do it too. Yeah, but no, that was kind of just that's what. I can't honestly. I can't remember everything about the book now. I read it earlier this year, but just that um, being on your journey, it kind of inspired me, like, and let me know that like I'm on the right path. Like you on this journey to find this thing that you really don't understand what it is fully, and it's like, um, but the yeah, and it just kind of showed me to that. That is the interesting part. The journey is the interesting part. Like if if life's a movie, 
like what's the the cool part of the movie is the all the problems and shit the the, the characters go through. If the movie just started at the ending and it's just done, like it's a it's a boring movie. Yeah, you wouldn't understand what it what it took to get to that point. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I understand what you're saying too though. Are you looking something up? Yeah, I'm looking up um it's like Man, I wish I should I should have had I should have had it already ready because I knew we was gonna touch up on this shit. And I was just gonna um it was just certain points inside of um oh, of the book. Yeah, the book that like even like so it's saying like when you comfortable, I feel like I'm comfortable home. Like I feel like I, I put in a good I put in a decent amount of work, right? When I was putting in work that got me like to Somebody a just point, in the, like in the scene? Yeah, okay. in the scene to a point where People like love me or they appreciate what I do. You know what I'm saying? And it, it's not like they forget about me because when I'm when I'm going out, you know what I mean? They like showing love, like home. I love home, but I'm comfortable. So it's like even in the story, it's like it's time to travel. You know what I'm saying? Your growth it's like will I need slow to, down. I need when to you're be uncomfortable. Yeah. I need to go somewhere where they don't know me. I'm hungry. I need you to know who I am. You know what I'm saying? I want you to understand my creativity. And as I'm doing that. Inside of that hunger, now home already, home already here, right? So now I'm creating on the highest levels for home, so I can try to help the world see where we come from and what what made me into who I am. You know what I'm saying? Ultimately, and just try to do it in the most creative way I can, artistic way I can. And and if I can, just like in the most. See, I don't, it ain't gonna be perfect. I don't want nothing. You know, you don't want nothing to be perfect. You know what I'm saying? So it's gonna be its ups and its downs, trials and tribulations, or whatever the case may be. But I want to be able to just get to a certain level, creatively, spiritually, financially, emotionally, all that shit. You you know any um? Have you found any other ways to um? get kind of out of that comfort zone just be more uncomfortable and like without not like aside from traveling because sometimes people can not everybody could just get up and travel you find any ways to kind of do that what? where you're at just to break out that comfort zone like what with traveling or just like, without traveling like if if you if for people that can't travel you know what i mean like like if if you can't travel right what are you what are you asking like how would you break is there ways you that have you found that you can break out that comfort zone like being you, home yeah yeah, it's just being hungry. You know what I'm saying? You just got to want it, really, and go. Shit, what are we waiting for? That's what I be thinking, but, you know, shit, I'm, put, shit, I'm putting it together, though, right now as we speak. I'm trying to get it to the point where it can be consistent. Me and, um, I've been talking to um, Stilo Gravity Films. Fire. I've been talking to him. Um, like Gravity Films, Sound 5-7? Yep. On Instagram? Yep, he fire. So, like, we've been vibing out and kicking it, and we've been just, like, we might like get it to a point where I can be consistent. You know what I'm saying? Maybe come twice a month and then come and then hopefully I can, like with them seeing me and me rapping and giving them content or, you know, doing something. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? It, it like go to, it be like. Ain't even gotta be a song every time. It you could know be what some I mean? Just content. something. But yeah. I do wanna put out music every week, every month, every, you know what I'm saying? I want it to be. Like, I, it'd be, like, so slow. And I don't, it don't got to be, though, because I can make music. You know what I'm saying? Like like I was saying with my conversation with Fan, he like, you act like you can't do it again. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I can. And I, and I love doing it. And then I love how it make me feel when I do it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, just keep doing it and putting out and letting the people see and absorb and just grow with it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, lo- I think I love having... um. I love having some other type of content to do too. I think that's kind of like cool just because like, like I make music as well and then I have a podcast. So it's like, I feel like the podcast is something I can do every week and just do something new and have some type of content out and stay creative. You know what I'm saying? It keeps me in that creative zone even when I'm not making music or dropping music. And then I don't have to use music as my main source of promotion. It's like I don't have to oversaturate my music and I can kind of create when I feel like creating music and, and focus on that when I want to. Like, and like, um, and also like I think like you said, staying consistent. I think key to that for me has been um, having a schedule, and then and treating it professionally, treating your your craft professionally. So even it's like and, standing and, on business though, that's yeah, and what even, I'm saying with yeah, college, that's and, like what yeah. I learned. 
even like even what I mean really by professionally is doing it even when you feel like don't feel like doing it that day. Put that work in. Like you're yeah. gonna wake up. You're gonna wake up and go to work and go to your job even when you don't feel like it because you you professional about that. I think do that same thing with your craft. Kind of quote saying something like that, bro. Who Larry Bird? Okay, I feel like somebody told me. I wait. No, I'm tripping. No, no, no. Go ahead. Nah, I'm sure. I think somebody else did. Go ahead. But I'm, somebody else I'm probably really did. They probably, they probably like even just fed off of each other and just, yeah. you know. But I think he was just saying something about just basically like to basically be great or to be become, you know, like legendary or whatever the case may be. You're gonna have to go on them days you don't want to go. You know what I'm saying? And shit, even when you like, I know they shit. Like them people that's on, they be goddamn. I know they don't be feeling like doing that shit all the time, but they still get it done. They got to. It's gonna, it's gonna keep that food on the table. You yeah. Know? So okay, so you touched on talking to Gravity Films. Um, I feel like we didn't. We, we talked about Zell. What about Daddy? How do you uh get linked Daddy, up with Daddy? I love Daddy. That's my motherfucking nigga. That nigga funny though. Daddy funny as hell. He always he, laughing. No, he really is though. <laughs> Our episode that we just did, bro. I don't know if you've seen that, but hey, he, Daddy he always, hey, this nigga is funny. Hey, look, I've never been like, I don't know. We can't be serious around each other, dog. Yeah. Me and Daddy can't be serious around each other. I don't know, bro. But I feel like he wanted her like, I ain't gonna lie, I feel like he like. Daddy like top. He like top two, top three. Like, Videographers? Out here to me. Personally, probably when I'm a, he could be number one. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, I don't, like, if, it, man, I don't know. Daddy is like, I feel like he make shit on, like, he's supposed to be getting paid like 20 bands, 50 bands, 100 bands for his videos. You know what I'm saying? And even like he had in the beginning stage and he be doing it by himself too. He might have teams sometimes, but for the most part, he do it by himself, his mind, how he work creatively. He got, the, like, he got the grind too, like, yeah, and he do like man, yeah, he into a lot of different shit too. He into a lot of different shit and he share that game. I like and his new logo. He has the um the hands holding the camera. I ain't see it, dog. It's on your videos. Um uh, it is? Yeah, it's, it's it's at the end of the video. All right. I ain't <laughs> I, all right, hold on, look. I haven't watched Dreamers. Like I ain't even watched that vid you in a minute. You haven't seen the video at all? Yeah, yeah, I saw oh, it, okay. but I haven't watched it like in a minute. Like you oh, know, okay. when you put this shit out, you don't really be. Yeah, yeah, I get it. And then if I do, it probably be like on like Apple Music or something. If the music just skipping, shuffling or something, it might end up on it. And I hear it, but I don't just be like listening to old music. I be working. I be on to the next, trying to think of new ideas and creating. But hold up, bro. Yeah. You from Bosnia? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck? See, look, that's what I'm saying. That's how my mind works. So like I said, I might bounce back to certain conversations because I wanted to ask you, but you was like talking and then I probably end up answering whatever it was what's that good? we had going on at the time. But what's up with Bosnia, bro? Like, what you mean? I, like you from there? Yeah, I was born there. I came here when I was four, um, the, but I go back and visit all the time. I was just out there like last month. What's the language? Bosnian. Yeah, I speak Bosnian. You see what I'm saying? I don't yeah. know. I don't, I it's don't right know. Next to, it's right next to Italy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, um, that's some fire. That's some fire shit. That's some like romantic shit. Bro. It's uh the government's corrupt. We have three presidents. I got three. Yeah, just what mad, the fuck? Just imagine how complicated that is and how n nothing ever gets done. That's three different you know egos. Yeah, like including the government. Like the see, that's what I'm saying. Like that's what I'm saying. You gotta talk to me. Who like how? That's what I'm saying. Who really? What a power at? You get what I'm saying? Like who? Who like? It's all kinds of up. Like if the president here don't really got like do people res like like should I appreciate him? I don't know him. I don't know what he got going on. I don't pay attention. We talking about like, Joe Biden? Yeah, Joe Biden. Yeah. Anybody come through the joint? They they home. I appreciate them, but I don't really know. I see their influence. I see how people look at them. So if they not good, mm. I can see. From I was thinking about that recently. Like really, what a president really does? Because I mean, obviously, like. Okay, there's a new president every four years, maybe eight years. Yeah. But there's people in that in those jobs that run the country for all that, do all the research and, and been there for 20, 30, 40 years. So they're the ones that are actually informed and they inform the president and they come up with, you know what I'm saying, decisions. So I think the president's really the main job is to unite the people, which the last few have been not doing that well. You know what I'm saying? So like, yeah, I think that's the most important job for the, for a president. Instead, but like but in this culture we in right now, even we talking about her, like dividing us, even in the mainstream media or stuff, like it's like they've been trying to divide us for so long on everything, and it's like it's just weird. It's just weird to me. Who got the power, bro? The people. The truth the people is, got the, the power? we have the power. 
if a hundred if a hundred million of us everybody got power. We got power because we control what's put in the store. We control what's coming across the seas and everything, bro. We control all that stuff. But the people, the government, the power is so spread out. Like everybody that's really in politics is older, and they end up having a chance to become president one day. But like, it's the power is within the people, but. Think about how many senators and congressmen and mayors and shit. Like, that's the pe- the real, actual people because they change shit. The yeah. mayor makes shit happen in the city. The, like, just like the principal makes shit happen in the schools. The mayor makes shit happen in the city. The congressman makes shit happy for the state. And then the president makes shit happen for the country. So it's like layers to the power. We all work together as all one. And there's somebody in the background, too, probably, too. So That's what I'm saying, though. That's what I'm saying. And then, man, this shit, this shit, like... This shit different, bro. This shit I, I try to, I try I to find, understand it. I try to find where I can agree on stuff with people and try to have common ground. You know what I'm saying? It's like we in this culture right now where we demonizing everybody who we saying stuff we don't agree with or has different opinions of us. And it's like, ultimately, we all want the same things. You know what I'm saying? So I think there's more that we can all do to try to uh, just be on the same page about certain shit. But this one I'm saying, not even on some deep shit, though. I ain't trying to be on no deep <laughs> shit, right? Yeah. But, like, how do you even think it get to the point? See, now, you from, like, like in Bosnia, how do they look at black people? Be, be real. We don't have black people in Bosnia. So, stereotypically, how do they look at black people? I mean, they look at everybody from outside of Bosnia, just how you, they see them in movies, pretty much. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, who painting this picture of us? Hollywood. To the world? You talking about who's painting the picture of America to the world? Definitely Hollywood, the movies. And the news now. So even, all right, now let's look a little deeper, right? Because, like, that's what I'm saying. You take it back to, like, slavery and shit like that. How do we get to that point? Like, how do we get to the point where is one is one race that got all the power? It don't matter who it is, who, whatever the race, it don't matter who it is. It's just, like, one race got the power and the mind to create what it created, right? How do they even get to that point? And how did we get, like, you get what I'm saying? Like, how do black people get, because from all, from my understanding of my people, it's like, we we were the powerful ones. You get what I'm saying? We were the ones with the gold. Or if they explain Jesus, he had wool hair. That's why I say, I ain't trying to go too deep. You get what I'm saying? We just, I don't fuck with me, cuz. That's what I'm saying. I'm with you. How do we eat? Why is it even like any of this? That's why I just be on a spiritual journey, because I don't understand. Why why can't people just lead with love? Now I can say I don't love everybody, because I don't I don't fuck with everybody. That's just me. You get what I'm saying? But I don't hate nobody. It's just some people I just I can't get with that shit. Mm. Or I don't understand it. Or we just might not be like we might just but everybody can understand each other. If we all can learn the same language, we all can understand each other. Just on you know what I mean? Just so how do we get and that's what I'm saying, how do we how did it get structured? Why is it a system? I don't know. I ain't about to go too deep though, because I'm just it all just I don't that's why I say I don't understand it. I don't I don't understand religion. Like I believe in God. You know what I mean? God is my savior. I fear God. You know what I'm saying? I think I try to think in godly ways, right? There's a lot there's some people that might not believe in God. I'm not gonna look at you no kind of way. You know what I'm saying? I don't want God to judge me. Right, but why is it like this? I'm saying, why can't we just all just be his different stories of how it came, how the world was created, and do, like that's what I'm saying. When you growing up in, in, if you grew up in Bosnia, how how are you learning like 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 life on some shit like? Because I don't well, like know. I, said, like, I, I came here when black, I, was, I just know how I came up. Yeah, so I don't remember seeing that many white people. Like, how, so I came here when I was four. So I pretty much grew up here, and now I went, I'll go there for the summers, like. Type shit, you know what I'm saying? One second, is Bosnia considered like white or? I mean, so everybody's there is Bosnian, pretty much. Everybody's Bosnian. We have like, um, and uh, look, I graduated. I, we're technically, look. we're. I mean, obviously, I'm white, but I always, I, I always tell people like, if somebody says I'm like whatever, a white boy or something, I always say I'm not white. I'm Bosnian, just because we have a whole different history and culture than white American people. So it's like, mm. I feel like when somebody just calls me white, it's like they're almost dismissing my culture and just trying to. To put say I'm American, which I'm not American, I'm Bosnian. You know what I'm saying? Hey, like, and I appreciate that because you your own kind. That's what you're saying, right? Like, and I appreciate you for who you are. It's like, 
And if I offended you, I ain't no, 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 not at all, not at all. I'm, I'm just saying, yeah. But I'm saying like, I ain't mean to. No, not at but all. But it's bro. like, I'm, I'm just saying like, and like this is what I'm saying. I graduated, I graduated college with honors. Like I'm, I'm a, and I think like on a high level, I would try to read and shit like that. Like I want to learn, I want to be knowledgeable, have wisdom and shit like that. But I just like I don't know how you grew up because I didn't grow up that way. I can't yeah. even imagine it. For and me, I'm it's sure like you probably can't think of how I grew up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like what I can say, I'm from here, Tower to Pop. You can look at it, but you don't know how when we woke up, how we you you. you know what I mean, you might hear it here and there, but we all in. We all came up different. Like how he came up, a different black man might be different from how I came up. You get what I'm saying? Just like how you came up, it's like he might can't imagine how. I came out, and I might can't imagine how he came up. You get what I'm saying? I feel like what, um, what, how you grow up in your home has a big impact. Because a lot of my, um, like a lot of people I talk to from Bosnia, it's yeah. kind of hard for them to imagine that I grew up in America, but I still feel Bosnian and, and have a lot of things about me that are not like the average like person that was just born here. And that's because in my household, it was Bosnian. We spoke Bosnian. I was raised with Bosnian, you know what I'm saying, traditions, values, to look at shit a certain way. So it's like... I could just see how that played a part in my life, just how I was raised in, in yeah. my home. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And yeah. um, I don't know if that answered your question. Like, just that's kind of, I feel like that's, but also then my, my perspective is like, yeah, I had that perspective from like Bosnian parents and a Bosnian home, but then I go out into the world and I'm in, and I'm in America and I'm learning about all the different types of people here. Like, yeah. Um, and also, what I feel like played a, di- a big role in my life is um, <clears throat> coming up. It's funny how that's kind of my life still to this day. I still talk to a bunch of different random people that I don't know like that, more like different strangers. I was always interacting with a lot of different types of people coming up. You know what I'm saying? Like, and um, I think the more yeah, I think the more people you interact with, the more different types of people you interact with, you see more and more how we are all the same. Yeah, but but the more you learn too. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? It's like the more you you learn just about. That's why I was just thinking. I'm like shit. The reason I might not know a lot of this shit because I might not, I don't travel enough or... <clears throat> Where have you traveled? You say, where have I? Yeah, you've been like out the country or... I ain't been out anywhere? the country yet. I ain't been out the country yet, but I've been, I've been like out west, LA. I've been to Chicago. I've been to my, my, my people from like New York, like Brooklyn. Like my mom from Brooklyn, but she from Virginia. You know what I'm saying? Like how I say I'm from Tower to Pop, the village. Like she was in Brooklyn till she was like seven. But she probably wouldn't, you know, she older. She might not remember what, she can remember some of the stuff, but she pretty much from VA now. She, that's what she gonna represent. That's what my mom gonna represent. She gonna represent Norfolk. Yeah. But, uh, I don't know though, man. Yeah, like, yeah. We all, we all fucking go through these different, you know what I'm saying? Things in life that affect us in different ways. Yeah. But it's crazy how, like, so much shit you go through and you don't realize it <clears throat> in the moment. It's like in hindsight, you only realize a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, looking back at, like, different shit you did. Um, But, yeah, I was going to say, too. Um, Go ahead. So, like, if your family, like... See, and you don't really know, you don't really like probably know who I am, but like if you was to get to know me or whatever, it's like, I feel like it would be cool as shit, you know what I'm saying? But I'm like, if like, how would your family like, because I'm like, when I think the trap, I'm like, shit, I might try to come out Bosnia with you, you know what I'm saying? Just yeah. and learn. I, I appreciate learning who y'all are and who, yeah. you know what I mean? Because it's good people everywhere, you know what I mean? It's about the heart. So it's like, I just I can be around people that got good hearts and I can learn from. Them. But how would you know? It's even like how it might not be my parents possible. are bothering people that react to black people. Is that but what like like say like if, if we was kicking it right, we we start vibing, boom boom boom, and it's like then we get to the point where we we like moving around together or something like that. Or I was like, yo, I'm trying to see how Bosnia is, or I might be in Italy, going to Italy or something. And I'm like, bro, stop by Bosnia. You know what I mean? Well, I'll be yeah. like, bro, let's um, go As far out, as know? my parents... Because um, you'll be able to show me. Yeah. Like, even if we I went there, it would just be like a vacation or some shit. But you'll be able to, like, you know what I mean? Take me to the places that the people might not see. And it's like, now I can see it with my own eyes. I don't mm. know. I just appreciate that kind of to stuff. To be honest, I'm not really sure how the average um, just Bosnian person that lives in Bosnia um, really views black people. Or, if, like, you know what I'm saying? If they're right. even thinking about it. I mean, like I said, if you... 
It's like you don't. It's like right now around here. I mean, I don't really know any Jewish people. I'm not really thinking about Jewish people. I'm not thinking. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it's regular. Like so, I don't know if it's like that. But it's funny because there actually was one black dude in my city in Bosnia growing up. I didn't see him in the, like for a while now, but he was like my age, and he was like black dude. He spoke Bosnian. He was born and raised there. I forgot. I think his parents were, like military um, people. Mm-hmm. But there was like one black guy in my city. I, thought, I always thought that was funny. Yeah. So like, did the people? How did people? They probably love. I mean, he was him, cool. It's like a regular yeah, guy. Like regular. Yeah. But that's but a my, story, but my parents, though, my parents like, are he could write a book. Yeah. My parents are different. I mean, they've been here for twenty years, so it's like, and then all my friends are pretty much black, so they're you know they know what's up. Black black Say what? And he could have been. I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I didn't fire, know him that well. Yeah. Maybe he was. I don't they know. Say he probably not facing oppression. Damn, that's like fire. But like, no, it's funny though. Even though, in the same way, at least. But even though his life though coming yeah. up though, it's like damn. He like he, I, he probably thinking like he can't relate. He can't relate yeah. to his own kind though. That can be like. You know what I mean? I'm, yeah. you don't never but know. in Bosnia, Been so in Bosnia, there was a war in the '90s. My dad was in the war. A lot of people really? died. My, it was so I'm Muslim, so there was a there was a genocide. They tried to exterminate all the Muslims in Bosnia. You know, what I'm saying my grandpa died in that war. You know, what I'm saying like, so it's funny how there's these divisions with people, and and th- in that case, it was religion. And in Bosnia to this day, it's three different types of people. It's Bosnians, which were majority Muslims. It's um Serbian people in there, which they're um, I want to say Catholic or Christian, and there's Croatian people. So there was this war and everybody was super divided and there was just a lot of hate there. But Bosnia, Serbians. And Croatians. Croatians. Yeah. So but that just goes to show you that it's see, I'm learning. It's right a now, thing I that I don't know what it is about humans. Um it's this it, it you go throughout history different places. In America here it could be a black and white thing, but then how does that so when you think about it, okay, is, is it cause we is it cause we look different? But then you look at some of these places where in Bosnia, it's, everybody looks the same. We speak the same language. We eat the same food. We have the same traditions. But that division is still there. So it's like, what is that with humans? I don't, I'm not really sure. Like, That's just territorial animal instinct. Because lions do the shit. Gorillas do the shit. Every other animal do the same shit. They got their territory. We're the same species. You can get fucked up no matter if you were the same species or not. So in humans, we just got more intellect. And got tools and shit, but we have the same kind of core, like, you know what I'm saying, habits and shit as other animals. So when we in a space together, we still gonna be territorial because we got our own families, got our own ideals, but religion and shit just so, like, I don't know what it is about religion that makes people wanna go to war. I don't know. But that's our, like, kind of our purpose. But why is it so powerful? That's what I'm saying. Why is it so powerful? You remember I was saying earlier, you remember I was saying earlier in the conversation, like, where's, I'm like, where's the power? But, then it just it become one in that manner. Like, and also what I said about the people, the power is what you believe. You're, the world is how you perceive that's it. Deep. That's deep. So that's, when that's when there's deep. when there's people like that, that come out with certain ideas and certain like concepts and that um, that try to spread it to the world, it's that ideas spread like wildfire, bro. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's like, um, and then what I really ideas noticed, spread like wildfire. Yeah, bro. And it's like that's also fire. herd mentality is crazy. When, once you believe everybody's believing one thing, it can make you want to believe it or make you more susceptible to believing it. Like, herd mentality is a crazy thing. Like, a lot of us think pretty logically when we're on our own. But then you get into a crowd, and it's like this energy that can take over everybody, and it's like, I don't know. Hey, bro, is this how, like, I'm mad as shit right now. <laughs> What's good? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, like, I'm, like, I'm high as a motherfucker. Hey, look. Me too, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come, but then I just started to think, like, is this how this shit go? Like, is this how an interview go? Or... So this now, is a what podcast. What the fuck really going on right now? I call this too. a podcast. See, you know what's funny? I don't. I never call these interviews because I feel like an interview is like a, it's like a negative connotation on that. Like you think of job interview, it's like something you can fail. This is just like a conversation. You know what I'm saying? That's what a podcast is to me. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I love it though. I love it though. There's a there, there's a few more things I want to. Okay, so okay, so. No, you didn't no, go no. to college. You you uh you drop butter, bossed up, right? Um, and then you just keep working. You keep you dropping music, you dropping videos. Um Nah, and we can chop it up too, bro. I'm chilling, yeah. right? 
I cause I don't do this shit for real. You know what I'm saying? So like right now I'm vibing. Like mm. I don't know how like that's what I'm saying. I don't even know like I'm trying to keep it like organic and shit. Like we just now talking. You can, I feel like we really yeah. just kicking it. And they just feeling the vibe. Like Jay-Z my favorite rapper, right? Okay. So you know, like in Blueprint 2, when he come, he come back, he come back nice, nah, just got down drop ether. You know, I love Ether though. When I do when I do hey, guest, when I do guest appearances on other shows, I play Ether on the way there. See, see. But when you play Ether, you gotta play the takeover. Yeah, the takeover. Okay. Don't do hove like that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You can't. That's what look, I'm saying, look, look. I'm telling you, look, I'm giving you some this some this some real nigga culture cub. You heard good. Hey, cuz, real talk. I'm putting you in. I'm putting you down. Okay. I'm rocking with you. Look, it's some that that type. When you play Nas, Ether, you gotta play whole Takeover. Don't you? Right, which one came out first? Takeover came out first. Okay. I think Takeover came out first. You know, whole. I think he called Nas out on. Yeah, he called Nas on on a joint. As Nas, he don't want to. Well, you know how that shit go. I don't want to get because that's their story. So I ain't gonna. Yeah. We don't get too deep, but I appreciate all that shit. That's how I learned all this shit. You know what I'm saying? But um, so you said Jay Z, your favorite rapper? J Cole. I was just listening to uh, "Love Yours" the other day by J Cole for the first time in a while. It's just still hit. Different. Here forever, so a living one though, like a living legend, like he an angel, like you can see it. That's what I'm saying. That's my Cole, my dog. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm, he's got. You know, you know the no role models joint that joint just did like it went diamond. Like recently? Yeah, and he ain't even drop a video for it. Oh, that's the first things first. Recipes, Uncle Phil. That's Uncle it. Phil, for real. You the only father that I ever knew. I get my bitch pregnant, I'm gonna be a better you. Hey, look, now real shit though. He a forever soul. Like that nigga, he Cole really my favorite though. That's what I'm saying. I grew up on Cole. That's the that's why I say we good. We could chop it up. Hold on, right, we good. Hold on. Oh, you want did you want to wrap it up? We good? Or? No, no, we good. Okay. I'm kicking it. We you good? No, I'm be straight, yeah. Hey, I'm kicking it, cuz I'm kicking it. I'm, I'm, I'm fucking with you. I probably need to not hit that. <laughs> do your thing. Do your thing. Mm. But yeah, it's okay. So you coming up listening to Cole? No Cole hoop. Went to college. The warm up, really the come up. I'm Matter of really, fact, he isn't he playing in like overseas now, like professional ball. Or yeah, something? yeah. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. It like now, like, when I get on though, that's what I'm saying. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be number one in hooping. Oh, so you gonna do that? Okay, okay. I'm gonna be number one. Like when I get on, like if it, it's gonna be like a year or two. I get about a year or two for real, for real. But like, cause I'm finna get to it. But it's like, hopefully, I pray. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm I will, humbly I will, speaking, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like if I just stay consistent and do what I feel like I need to do in my mind, I can get to that point with faith. But it's like, um, yeah. But look, so cold. I come in, I come in, the come, the come up. You know what I'm saying? That's when I like first like catch wind over my head the um <clears throat> well we had a little iPods back then. Back when like two thousand eight, two thousand nine, it was like the little before the touch. Oh yeah, you talking, like, about, you're talking like, about the shuffle. Little, yeah, yeah, like those the iPods and shit. I think my like sister had one. I used to um or she had like a um MP3 version. You know, it had like the little MP3 joints too, like the yeah, little that's a, I think that was a shuffle, matter of fact. It was like a USB type joint. You put the music on it, tight joint, and um Okay. I don't know. Oh, you so can, not even iPod, not even yeah, Apple. It was just different joints. Some of them was MP3, some of was iPod yeah, shuffle, just different shit. Yeah. And I just remember um coming in, like just listening to Cole, bro, just he just changed, he just changed my life for the better for real, for real. Cause you know, he was he was like like the guidance. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, you know, when you looking up to somebody, you want to be like them, like like a bit brother. So it was like, you listening to it and you feel like y'all the same. That's how I feel like my brother look at me. That's why I be like real conscious of how I move. And like sometimes I don't be like, I be like, I don't know. I might be like drink. I don't know. I don't know. I be like, I don't know. But I need to get out. I'm about to say, I ain't going to be out like, I don't know. But I know like my brother watching, it's like the kids watching me. So I try to be conscious of like, Moving in the right ways, cause it's like 
Cole, like like when I'm looking listening to Cole or Drizzy coming up, they ain't had to, you know what I'm saying? Even though that's like it's like what I'm around and what I'm what what we living inside is like they ain't really, they ain't have to do that to get to the top. They could just be themselves. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like they was like, I'm listening to the niggas, bro. Like cold come up, the warm up with dead presidents. Some rappers just wanted made, made, made me want to be smarter too. Like listen to Cold, Cole, like it made you want to. Cold and like, Kendrick being smart come. Was cool, like then Kendrick come wild. Kendrick wild, right? He's, he's sick. That's sick, cool. I got the Kendrick. He's a genius, the bro. Both of them though. Both of them genius. All three of them. When you first uh, hear Kendrick, like do you remember what was happening, like the atmosphere of music and what was going on in your life at the time? Man, rest in peace to Deontay, dog. Tay G, that's my dog. We play. Um, whew, I went to um, middle school and high school with him. That's my dog, boy. That nigga was boy. That nigga got like the best smile, cuz. But look, so we came like middle school, high school. He like he used to listen to Kendrick a lot, but like I, I think I heard him listening to a song, and then I started doing my own digging, and it was like um, what I heard. Uh, Ignorance is bliss, motherfucking. Um, damn, ignorance is bliss. Look, look out for detox. Dum dum dum, dum dum dum. The first thing I heard, he, dun, he had dun, that dun. project where it was all like remixes. Oh, might have been all remixes. Man, that nigga song. flow sick, bro. That nigga's crazy. That, but see, oh man, that nigga, he like, man, that nigga crazy. You know that you heard that un, you heard that unreleased song that uh, Cole and Kendrick had that never came out, but it's like a video of them. Or it's like Kendrick and like a group of people playing and just like outside. How that shit Hold up, hold up. What you said? It's a song Cole and Kendrick got. I think it's called Temptations. That never came out. But it's a video. Damn, Kendrick right. That was one it. of my favorite songs. We got to play that after this joint. Yeah, hey, I'm with it. I'm with it. Yeah, like, I, look. That I'm was like seven, able, eight years ago. I'll be able, see, that's what I'm saying. Out. I don't even be, I, 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 I like, because I don't listen to that song every day because they ain't even put it out. It's like you would hear it in the background. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can hear it, or you can you that ain't that's the one that you um, they, talking about? They're just playing it like it's on speakers. Yeah. Like, uh, so you hear it, you hear it. But it's video. not like the MP3 version though, no, right? No, they're just playing it on the That's what I'm yeah. saying. So that's what I'm saying. Like, so like it ain't and we can't get to that every day, like where we go to for music and shit like that. Where where yeah. I go for music. But like if you play that shit, I'm gonna be able to sing sing most of that song. That them shits was classics, bro. And I love that one saying they made me love music. How they do it, how they approach it, bruh. They love it. It make you want to love pa- it. Passion, passion is 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 uh, contagious. When somebody's passionate about Damn, something, yeah, that's fire. You know what I'm bro. saying? You like, got them dropping them gems. See, that's why. I, <laughs> hey, bro, I'm like, Damn, I shouldn't, have, I shouldn't, have hit, I shouldn't have been smoking, cause nah, you killing it, bro. You killing it. Um, but you know what I'm saying? Like when somebody's passionate about something, it resonates with you. It makes you want to. Either find what you're passionate about if you don't know already, or go do that. Like if you don't like, um, but yeah. So you dropping, um, um, you had a bar in the song too. I forgot what song it was now, but you said everybody was showing me love, but where'd that go or something? Where'd like go that? at? Like, like distant memories? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think that just played into like the the song too. Just like even like the title. Distant memories, like it was, it feel like long ago now, where it feel like the law different. You know what I'm saying? Like where it go? But it's like they there and they just waiting for me, too. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like that's why I say just go. I don't know. Just create, try at the highest levels. And I think about this shit like basketball. You know what I'm saying? It's like with like AAU and shit like that. You know his rankings. Like it's like the best fifty players and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Or football. You know, like my best friend. I'm not really, I'm not really in tune with sports right now, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah. But do you do you like understand like even like the come up in sports with like high school and shit like that? What do you mean people just starting high school and just getting better and better and being in the league? Not yeah, but you know, like like say like before you get to like the McDonald's point or the Jordan's classic points and shit like that. Yeah. Like the best players in the country when they playing, it'd be like the top twenty four players. Or like players that play at just like it had different camps, like A B C D camps, LeBron James camps, C P three camps. You know about that kind of shit? I'm not hit, but I'm, I'm understanding what you're saying. All right, but so like when you like in like when you hooping and shit like that, it's just like that's how you rank. 
amongst like the best player. Like you get to play at those camps. You got to dominate on whatever level you playing though. But that's why you travel around. You travel like and who and then sponsors will see you, your team, and want to get and you grow. You know what I'm saying? And then it yeah. started. It became business. I feel like I've know I seen that a little bit in that recent Adam Sandler movie. Oh, yeah, okay. You seen that? Where he's like with. Yeah, bro. Like the, yeah, I watched that shit. Yeah. I, I keep falling asleep it's on that, like that shit, right? though. Like with the camps and stuff. Like his player was going to different camps and playing. He had to like play well because yeah, people were like watching. Yeah, get, get, get known. Yeah. yeah. Like I, it's a, uh, bro, it's a couple documentaries. You guys, you seen the Stephon Marbury shit? Yeah, I think uh, so. I think I seen it a couple times Kevin too, Garnett but a minute ago. Hard, uh, I ain't see cool. KG shit. He popped that shit though. He was, you know what I'm saying, in, in there, and he had to go around and, like, really, like, get it out of the mud, like, hooping. Like, Who, KG? Yeah, KG. Like, he had to go around hoop with the best players and shit? Yeah. Yeah, but everybody had to do that, though. They yeah. just, that's how you become it. Yeah. So, that's what I'm saying. It's a, it's a grind for real. Damn yeah, right, but that's how I look at music, though, basically. It's right? like a grind. So, like, yeah, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, in, in those aspects or what, what retrospects mean? Retrospect, yeah. Retrospective doesn't that mean like? Behind, like, past, like it's, is it like a view? Retrospect, like seeing something in the past and like comparing it to like what's not like in retrospect. I was trapping. Oh yeah. Trapping, yeah. But, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. Comparing like the current moment to the past. Let's get a, a way. But it's trying different things. I don't know if you want to um, touch on that. Just kind of experiment in different ways to um, market yourself, or you know what I'm saying, do shit. You said what, bro? Just like experimenting with different ways to market yourself. I don't know if you've been thinking about that at all. Oh, um, I feel like that's where I just need to be. I need to get creative. You know what I'm saying? But and I'm still like I'm just still learning it. But I'm getting like I feel like I got I got the proper guidance in my corner though. So like I'm putting it all together. Like I'm I'm trying to put it together though. Especially what especially what what's going on because I'm not really like. Like social media, bro. I'm new to it for real. Yeah. yeah, like I, my, I just made Instagram after um, I graduated college, and that's my first social media I ever had. Oh, you know, you didn't have MySpace. Nah, I never bro. had none of that shit. Facebook? Yeah. Nope. Wow. I don't got no Facebook. That's what I'm saying. Like, even when you say marketing, right? I, I'm, you, I'm missing a whole platform. I mean, unless like you know. Which I people be like sharing my shit up there, and they be like doing doing pretty good up there sometimes if it if it's somewhere up there. But I don't got nowhere people can come to and try to. And, you know what I mean? I don't know. I just got. I'm just, so I'm still learning that shit. Basically, is what I'm saying. Like, it ain't hard to learn, but I'm just not all that interested in learning for real. For real. Like, I be trying to learn other shit, and that shit be like toxic as a motherfucker. All that shit be toxic. Nah, it's definitely some... Uh, like, for the spirit, shit, bro. I'd be on some Bob Marley shit. But... That's crazy. He I want to get to that point. I ain't... I ain't. That's like... You know what I mean? I'd be like... Get to what point? The... Like, that just spiritual level, bro. Like, I hope I can just get to that point. Like, <clears throat> on, on surface level where I'm in contact with a... I can influence the people and the kids, you know what I'm saying? Really the kids and the youth, but the right way. You know what I'm saying? That's how that's how I see it in my dreams. But shit. I think that's what also like um sets apart like real artists from people that are just trying to get money. You know what I'm yeah, saying? In this industry. Yeah. I, hey, look, the people that no actually cap- care, like the effect they have and um, see, I be I be knowing shit like that. See, look, I be knowing that shit like going. That's what I'm saying. I don't know, bro. It'd be like, where you been at? That's why I be thinking sometimes. Like, but like, I be more so like, I don't even know where I was about to go at. I know where I was about to go at, but go at. But I just lost my train of thought. Yeah. Okay. So you coming up between Norfolk, Virginia Beach? You hooping? That's your first dream. Um, you go to college for two years. Get yeah. a scholarship the second year, which I didn't even know that was a thing. What and um like on um, junior college? Yeah, like you didn't you didn't start out with the with the scholarship. You got it the second year. You said. Yeah, yep. I had to um, work for that shit too. 
Yeah. You drop I feel like I had to work for everything though. And that's what that's what's just gonna have to happen now. It's like, nigga, I'm gonna have to work to get to that next point. And I feel like God blessed me with the with the gift and the talent and the ability to create. So I need to just utilize this, you know what I mean, tool. He you know what I mean? And just shake something, cuz. Oh cow. See look, when I when I know what I wanna say, but I can't really say it in the vocabulary that I want to right now. See, I'm getting better though. That's why you reading shit. But that's when you get the you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um it's okay, it's okay, so you so I just kinda work work up to this point. Um kinda like I feel like we've been working up to the point where you said you ran into push and push, you said a couple weeks ago. Damn right, I seen push on um and um Matter of fact, how you even matter of fact, how you even know uh that's what I forgot to ask you. How you uh, get up with young money young? I feel like y'all got some heat together too. Damn, like that shit when you in the what? the video when y'all like in the truck, what's that called? In the truck. Like By you, his truck. Yeah, it's like a box shit. truck. What's that song called? <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm talking about. You had the fro, I think. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's our joint. Um I had just put it on um it's on the mixtape. Damn right, that shit. It was the remix uh for um Jay Z and um and Beanie shit. Once again, it's on. You know what I'm talking about? I don't know if I've ever even heard the original song for that. You don't, you ain't heard? See, that's what I'm saying, bro. You I might really gotta, haven't heard. You, gotta, you might gotta fuck with me, bro. I, no, I, I gotta. You gotta put me on. Like I haven't heard much of Jay Z's music. I feel like I've heard his hits, maybe some of the B side shits, but he has a lot of music. I never listened to a Jay Z album straight through, me but I fuck with Jay Z. Me and Yon shit called the deep end. But you ever do you ever get this feeling? Am I tripping, or it's like certain people that I feel like inspire me the most? Sometimes I don't even want to hear that much of their shit. Like I feel you like said what? Like certain people that I feel like uh, that I come across, and I feel like kind of alter my path a little bit or help me figure something out. I almost don't want to l- listen to much of their shit. Like most deaf. Like recently, most death has been real, like resonating with me. But I don't even want to go back and listen to all his music because I don't want to be influenced too much. It's just like what I see when I see you. Sometimes it just be enough. Yeah. Like I don't even want to. You know what bro. I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That's fire as hell. <laughs> yeah. Damn, that's fire. See, I think for me, just being a, I think I, I think for, I don't know if I think in my mind like that's my way. That's like one of my ways of like learning. And shit with the music, but when I when I go in here, niggas old shit, and get to hearing them to they points now, I be like, need I be I be appreciating they whole journeys, like all of them, or everybody, like even like push, like even when when I first started rocking with push, like or vibing or just after I met them and shit like that. I was like really locking into his music. This nigga's crazy. He's crazy. Like he going for that rap album of the year. Right he got now. it. He got it, dog. No cap. That's what I feel. That's what I hope. You know what I mean? From the crib. How you feel about um about Airwave? What you trying to do with that? Or Should what he's I, doing with that? I think. I honestly just feel like he got that shit under control. I feel like. He, I've been like, I've been seeing him like he, he intelligent, you know what I'm saying? So, and he like, he love music, you know what I'm saying? So like, I, the people he bring in, I believe in, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, I, I, I see like, I'm just seeing his vision though. I don't know. Like, that shit look like he, you know what I mean? He picking some like, from what I'm seeing, he like picking some fire. I rock, I rock with like. I be liking their music, you know what I'm saying? It ain't like I listen to it, like some of their artists, like every day or nothing like that. But when I hear their shit, I be like, yeah, you know what I mean? I see why like he rock with them. And yeah. I think he just, even the way he dropped, do you see the way he dropped? Like, it's like, like. What, drop artists off Airwave? No, like. Oh, like he dropped his music? His music, yeah. And like how he move and shit like that. I know. Which part about it? Like, I don't know, that shit just look like. That shit look like butters. No, he the diss track, the McDonald's diss, 
legendary. Like, all that shit Come intelligent, on, bro. bro. I think he actually just dropped a di- another one, to, too. And he used to, like, then he, he made, made the McDonald's the rich, Jones. Yeah. Made M's. Yeah, so he like, made M's off bro. of that. And then he, man, yeah. that's like, what? That's a bro. win-win. I know that McDonald's, the McDonald's like that, CEO was sick that day. He said, you know what? Call him up right now. Hey, they said what? No, nah, I'm just playing. I don't know. <laughs> oh. No, nah, I'm saying the McDonald's CEO was probably sick that day. But even even on our level, like, I be seeing certain shit, like, niggas be, like, moving. That shit be looking butter. That's how the niggas are moving. Though. Like, but that's what why, I really, yeah. That's why I think our generation is, like, if you see it, man, everybody coming, cuz. Everybody coming. And shit just starting to look better. And it's like, now shit, like, I don't know, this shit looking... This shit bubbling. looking like colo- yeah, looking like it's gonna be like like shit, colossal like, like shit, that. shit is definitely bubbling, bro. Um, I agree. But what what I really like, I feel like one of the biggest things I learned from just watching a uh, push get airwave off the ground is that it takes time, bro. I feel like I, I said this on the show before, but you got a name like Push, right? Yeah, he's big. Yeah, so he starts a label. Even him being who he is, it takes him time to to get that off the ground. It's been a couple of years now, I think, since Airwave. You know what I'm saying? But they yeah, still yeah. Work, building it. It's not where you know what I'm saying. It's not at the final destination yet. So but look, it though, should just take it. Should just take time, bro. It does, though. I I agree with you, bro. I agree with you. And I, I, that's why I say I feel like you got it under control. Like I feel like whenever it's time, it's gonna it's gonna happen. Right? Like I mean, it's like whatever that's meant for you won't miss you. You know what I'm saying? So if whenever it's meant to happen for him, it's gonna happen for Airwave. It's gonna happen. But like the touch up, I ain't never really answered like how I met Jan. Oh yeah, good. Like Jan had pop, like I don't know, it was like 2017 though. It was like I think once like I like cause you know I had just made Instagram. So like people probably got like, knew of me. Some people, a lot of people probably knew of me. We had like mutual people though. You know what I'm saying? Like he know my people. You know what I mean? So like he just like once he seen like what he felt like he seen inside of me, I, he like show love, and it was like early though. You know what I'm saying? I, I can't really even remember exactly when, but and I got a, I think I, I, I don't think I think it was like sometime in 2017. But he always just showed love, bro. Like genuine love too. Like he get like a like a, he get like he got like a. A genuine love, for real, and and that's how he he always been that way. And he like he dropped jewels, he get game. Like he like he a good he got a good heart. I don't know, and that's how he that's what he always showed me. Shit, that's all. You know what I mean? Been he all the way through. He just fucking with him. he been fucking with a nigga like. I don't know. And it's like, but the love is mutual. Like I, so my love is just as strong. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> what you think is like one of the, um, what, what you think, think? What you think is like the most like um, one of the most important lessons you feel like you've learned just making music and doing it for the time that you have, or like from, from now to the uh, from the beginning. Can you say that again? Like what you feel like you learned, like kind of on this journey. Since the beginning, dropping music, like you said, like 2017, like 2016. You said what? What I learned? Yeah, like how, how you, you, what you feel like? Do you feel like you doing? Are you doing anything different now? Differently? Mm, I think I just learned to never stop. You know what I'm saying? Just to keep going. Man, I ain't never really stopped though. I'm saying, but just keep giving the people, you know what I mean? Vibes and content that they can like connect with and get to learn me through. You know what I'm saying? I think I've been learning um, new ways to be creative inside of the music, inside of like visuals, and try to like show the world my mind and shit like that. I'm like, just like, like I said, it's like a spiritual journey, like a spiritual awakening. Not no real, real deep shit, but it's like just learning myself and shit like that. Just learning, bro. Just learning. Yeah. I love it, bro. We about like, Hour and an hour and a half in right now. Hour and forty in. Um, yeah. I don't know if you want to touch on anything else. That might be a far spot to leave him at. I don't know. Like I said, if you want to lead the people or anything, or if you want to go and answer anything else. Nah, I know I'm dropping. I know I'm dropping. 
I want to drop in December, Matt to, and you know, it's inspired kind of by like the Alchemist and. Yeah, I'm actually gonna really gonna go back and read that again. Yeah, read. Now that we're talking about it, yeah. Read that again, but um, the Alchemist. Um, that shit fire. Everybody should go and read that. But Mac Tub, December. Mac Tub, yep. December on my dad's birthday. I want to drop it on my dad's birthday, December 12th. That's what I'm shooting for. I got like a good amount of songs now, so I should be like, it should be coming. You know what I mean? Like, so I'm at least, I'm going to try to get on like in between 6 and 24. And it's like, it should be some good music. I played some of it for, for you. Yeah, we got two, I think we got two more to play. Nah, nah, we ain't finished, bro. You tweaking. <laughs> I'm with, I'm with whatever. I'm with whatever. Hey, bro, you tweaking. <laughs> what, you got something to do? I ain't got shit to do. All right, we ain't gonna like drag it too long. We ain't gonna drag no, it. No, I'm with whatever. But look, though, yeah. you call, I called you, I called you. And you, yeah. nah, look, you see what I I'm saying? No, that's it. That's what I'm saying. We can backtrack. All right, so to really backtrack, should we tell them how this kind of happened? Hmm? Should we tell them how, how it happened? Okay, so you basically, you seen, I did the comment with, uh, with Zell 2 Trill. You seen that joint. You called me, I think the next day. And it's yeah. crazy because I have my notifications off on Instagram. So did I say, did I say how I met Zell though? He you sent did me, earlier. He sent me you said you sent me some beats. It was yeah. fire. And then yeah. uh, we did. He did Cray Cray. And then he just been saying he, but he was just saying like he sent that heat through. Like I got, I got a lot of shit from Zell. That's what I'm saying. It's gonna just keep flooding. Yeah. And try, hopefully, he 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 got a lot of work. He, he he got a lot of work coming out with a lot of people right now. He's for working real. for real. Zell. Yeah. yeah, that's fire. Um, but yeah, so fire I did a Zell combo. And he like yeah he. He he special though. He one of them ones. He's no, he 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 pure with it. Yeah, he, he pure, pure with, with it, it though. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. No cap. And he like love. Like like he a loving spirit. Yeah. Um, so okay, yeah. So we did the Zell convo. Bro called me the next day. I get on Instagram. Just happened that literally right when I click on Instagram, he started calling me like a second later. Boom, I answered the shit. And like I said, like, I'm sure you could probably tell on the phone. Like I was hyped. Like I was literally, I was legit hype. Like I've been a fan of bro for literally for three, four years. Like I didn't know him. I you know what I'm saying? Just bro, seen him on social you. media and shit. So like I said, I think I, I said that show on Twitter too, bro. Like to me, you a star. Like to me, there's certain people out here that once, even if the world, the whole world thought of you as a star. Now I already thought of thought of you as a star. It's like Thank we don't. You. It's like we don't like us as being from the seven. We don't need the world to tell us that our talent, our artists, are stars. We can do that first. Like you know what and I'm saying? Like it's that, almost like thinking for your, go back to like that. thinking for yourself. Like you know I mean, what I'm saying? I feel that for liking the what you too. like. Like um, so yeah, I was hype, bro. So bro called me. We talked for like five ten minutes. He's like, bro, I'm trying to trying to sit down and do the podcast. That was like, yeah, that was like a couple months ago. I guess I want to say. And I was like, I'm with it. I actually tried to get you to do the uh, the art segment first. You were like, nah, let's do the uh, let's do the podcast first. What's that? What's that again, though? That's the joints from the earth. So you seen them? People are like you seen in front of you the earth. Yeah. You know, have you seen the people sitting in front of Earth doing those segments? Nah. So yet. basically it's like short. Maybe I did. I just can't think of it right now. But Yeah, um, so it's like short segments, um, like usually less than a minute. And um, the question we're doing, we were doing for this round is uh, what role does art play in your life? So people are just kind of yeah, answering that question. Damn. <laughs> That's but he was like, so he was like, I want to do the oh, podcast yeah, first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You sent me like three examples, right? Yeah, I sent you some examples. Yeah, yeah. you see, like yeah, yeah, and it was fire too. Those all, all of them, it was like three or four. I don't know. Yeah, we did. I, I want to say we did like thirty of them. But y'all be getting some. Y'all be getting some shit. And what's this like episode one hundred and what? This is either one twenty two or one twenty three. I forgot now. Exactly. So what that mean? Hold up. So hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah. Fuck with me, <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Hold up, hold up. Do that mean I'm I'm as interested in whatever you do and how you moving and. Seeing who you are as you is in me. Wait, what you mean? Like you just said, bro, I've been rocking with you since when? Two thousand for about three, four years. Well, when Julio right? came out, all right, I first got hit. Yeah. Eighteen, about five years. You know what I'm saying? Five more than longer than I said. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, then you you showing enough love to say you was hype. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate that. Everybody ain't got that love inside them. Could you not tell on the phone that I? Because I honestly I got the phone. I was like, bro, he probably think I'm. I'm on some, <laughs> some, some dumb shit. Like, <laughs> no, yeah, some, bro, no. Matter of no, fact, no, no something bro. else, something else no, happened bro. right before he hey, got bro. me. I forgot what I was doing that day, but I was already hype about something else. And then he caught me and actually just threw me all the <laughs> way off. And I was like, just, all right. Hey, yeah. bro, it's all love, cuz. Hold up, say it with me, cuz. It's all love, cuz. It's all love, cuz, yeah. 
You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's all cause we ain't, it ain't no, it ain't extra look. All right, look, this what I'm saying. Yeah. Cause I don't look, look. <laughs> cause look, I don't got look, I don't got look. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the pot. We're gonna do the reverse joint. Now it's my, t- it's my turn. Like I'm gonna, you better yeah. ask me questions. So it's my turn. All right, I'm with it. So look, cause this, this I don't know. I'm doing my, this like my own podcast type shit, type shit. All right, boom. What we gonna call this right here? La Julio Soul Chat. Nah, that's the Off World Podcast. But I'm, I'm just. All right, let's get it. So, <laughs> when you start rapping, Brody. I do want to show you some of my music when we get off of this too. Um, but that's uh, what, hey, I look, rapping. That's what we gonna call my podcast right now. Fuck with me, cub. Like that, <laughs> like that. Um, so I, I mean, I I mean, I said I made my first. Song. I made my first song, and like I want to say like 2009. It was a black and yellow remix, but that was just bullshit. But then I actually were. Oh, you I, fuck with Wiz? I, 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 I still fuck with Wiz. Yeah, I fuck with Wiz. That's was, fire. Um, but for me, for real, for real, the the music didn't really start to like 20. Then I had when then I had another phase 2013. I have I don't I haven't really talked about this much. Um, but I don't really want to get too much into it. But I basically went I went through like a I call it a epiphany. I went through some type of shit in like end of senior year almost like to me it was like an awakening like where I kind of like just kind of exposed my it just introduced me to some new new I felt like it introduced me to a new journey. So from there, um, it, it just felt real important to express myself more. And then um, so I started making music right there too. All that shit was trash too. So I made music for a couple of years. Kind of just started f- uh, figuring, like, finding myself and shit. Put it down. How old are you again? Right now I'm 27. I just turned 27. No, I'm talking about when you first started doing music. Uh, oh, 2009. That was, I was, I was, I was probably, like, 14, 15. That was, like, 9th, 10th grade. Then senior year is kind of where I, it, it became real personal. Put it down again. And then, um, so hold 20. Up, hold up. When you said, when you started my fault, what you said? 2009. That was Damn. when I made my first song. So, like, all right. But that wasn't like I wasn't really making music. I just made like a song, you know what I'm saying? So back all right, in that point at 2009, what was your top 3 artists that inspired you? At that point, I mean, I was probably listening to um Lil Wayne, Wiz, <laughs> probably Drake, like J. Cole, something like that. Yeah. That's that was like that was my lineup. I ain't gonna cap. See, that's what I'm saying. So the first <clears throat> the first rapper I ever heard was um Eminem. No, no, wait. I, it was 50 Cent, then it was Eminem. Yeah. Yeah, so hey, dog. Hold get up. rich or dog. die trying. Fifty was hey, my introduction to to hey, man, like. Cool. And in yeah. Hold up, say it with me. Hold up, hey, <laughs> hey, fuck with me, fuck with me, cuz. Just say it with me. This <laughs> fuck with me, cuz. <laughs> <laughs> what's the dude? Uh, hey. uh, what's the what's the white kid? What's the white kid? I was like, alright, I'm gonna fuck with you. Oh, that went viral. <laughs> <laughs> alright, I'm gonna fuck with y'all. Alright, I'm gonna fuck with y'all. Nah, we are gonna. That's what I'm saying. Whenever we get to the moments inside of the conversation, we are gonna say. Fuck with me, cuz. Hold on. <laughs> I fuck with it. Hold up, Brody. Say it right quick. Fuck with me, cuz. <laughs> yeah. Black Dove. See, that's what I'm saying. Yo, All right. But Boom. yeah, then really in like 20, uh, I started making music for real in 2017. This, this some real off-world shit we've been yeah. talking about, though, cuz. For real. Yeah. I'm fucking with this, though, Brody. But I know that was like a long answer to your question, but yeah. So no, uh, no, really, no, for real, no. for real, was 2017. I need yeah. you to elaborate because how, because how else I'm going to, you know what I mean? Understand and learn what you come from, how your mind, how you thinking, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like no extra, you know what I mean? But we we vibing, you know what I'm saying? We, what? F- fuck with me, cuz. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. All right, well, look, all right. So they that's who inspired you, right? I mean, a lot of 2009, you started, right? Yeah, just bullshit. Just made it, you know what I'm saying? All right, so 2009, what's your favorite Drake song? Shit, I don't even know. I mean, honestly, I can't remember. Yeah, like, I can't really remember. Man, man. Y'all gotta stop going in and like favorite songs and shit. I can't remember. Say real. I was probably fucking with all with with everything, you know? All right, we ain't gonna go. All right, bet, bet. All right. 2009, J. Cole. You gonna ask me to name a song again? I'm definitely gonna ask you to name a song. <laughs> hey, fuck, hey. With, fuck with me, cuz. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm playing. Honestly, I don't, I, don't, I, can't, I don't really remember, uh, like, when it comes to music, I can't remember what year uh, songs came out in, honestly. Usually. Damn, Brody, you gotta, that's what I'm saying. You gotta study this shit. This one, how much do you love this shit? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> one time, right quick. Fuck with me. 
You know what I'm saying? Hey yo. And I'm, nah, that's I what I'm it, saying. You know, it. I don't even do interviews like that. But I'll chop it up with people. I'm just matter of fact. I think I'm just getting back in these vibes. You know what I'm saying? But on the music side, though, honestly, bro, uh, for me, what music has became is really like an expression. And I and I've came to grips that not everybody's gonna fuck with my shit, but I just it feels right when I do it. Certain things that I do in my life, when I'm doing it in the moment, it literally it feels like I was I'm in the right moment in the right point in history at the right time. Like it's it just feels like I'm supposed to be there. So anything that gives me that feeling, I you know what I'm saying, that's kinda what draws me to it. Um but yeah, bro. Uh yeah, yeah, my, my music is real personal to me too. So that's why I kind of, I feel like I can, I can, I feel like sometimes maybe even an artist, I don't know if it's like the general public be understand, uh, like be understanding what artists do sometimes. If they understand how personal it is to some people, how deep it is for them, like, or like a lot of people, I feel like maybe the general public just look at this like, oh, this is just a song or whatever, like. But nah, but, but for real, for real though, even like, I be feeling like in a way, that's how, <clears throat> sometimes that's how people be like, you know what I mean, dying in this shit, you know what I'm saying? It's like. What do you mean? Because sometimes people are disrespect, you know what I mean? What, like, people may, people don't like when people don't like, like, appreciate what they have to offer in this world, just with anything, you feel me? So I'm just like, when they put it out, this they expression, this they way of trying to find some love, and, you know, everybody want, you know what I mean? It's not for everybody, though, you know what I'm saying? So I ain't saying everybody just... Cause it's not for everybody. It should be for the people that really, really love to do this shit. You know what I'm saying? That really got a talent and <clears throat> and, and can also have the confidence to believe in themselves to get through and weather the storm. Cause it's gonna be a storm. It's ups and downs with this shit. Roller coaster ride. It's a lot of times that you want to quit doing this shit, but it's like, huh? It's like, yeah, it's like I've been through a lot of times where I was like, it felt like, yeah. Shit happens that make you want to question, like, yeah, am I really on the right path? With with their music, like chasing a dream, uh, yeah, with life, whatever, like shit that pulls pulls you away. All right, so but yeah, my look, fault, my fault, yeah. So look, Bosnia. What the woman look like out there? Um, look European. Can you like? Can you? Is it? Is it like a joke? Is it like a? Is it like a? Is it like a, a female that? That I will tell you. My, I'll tell you my, my, my. You can name, and I'll be able to like imagine her or see her and be like, oh. Not really. Honest, honestly, not really. Damn. I don't know. But it's. The, but it's I'll so, tell you, somebody. Crazy like, jokes out there. I mean, they got they got crazy jokes everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Um. Uh. One of my favorite, I'll tell you my sing, my favorite singers coming out of Bosnia right now. It's this girl, uh, Sanita. Sanita. Yeah, she was uh, she's Bosnian, but she grew up in Slovenia. Sanita. So she sing, she sings ma- uh, mainly in uh, Slovenia. <laughs> but I'm, I'm gonna put you on her too. She's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I want to hear it though, brother. I want to hear it first. I want to hear. It. Yeah. Cause I like a lot of music. That's like what we. She like what? What she, you said she sing? Yeah, she sing. Yeah, yeah I definitely want. I want to hear, it, and then I want to try to imagine her, and then I want you to show me her. Right, so man. just show me one of her like fire songs. If you can. Okay, that's about. I got you. Hey, if I talk right here, can you hear me in this joint? Um, I would. You could just turn it. That mic would turn. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yep. All right, bet. Yeah. All right, so, cause I might be trying to come out Bosnia just, just to come see. Come out there. You know what I mean? Come out there. Like, I'm a I feel like I feel like there. you know they always say in hip hop like um like the rest of the world sometimes respects your shit even more than America. Well, like they'll forget about you in America, but you'll still have. A crazy Damn. fan base across overseas somewhere, or like that's crazy. Damn, that's crazy, bro. That's a crazy way to look at it. That's why niggas need to get to that point, though. That's why you gotta work. To, you gotta work to get to that point, though. You know what I'm saying? But see, sometimes some people just catch that shit. Somebody they just catch that one. You know what I'm saying? Then sometimes it just take longer. But if it take longer, maybe there's more lessons that you need to learn or understand, right? I don't know. We just chopping it up. I love Cool J. Just um, did the Rock the Bells joint. What's what's that? He he threw a he threw a show and like had all the OGs up there. And actually, I, th- I just seen a uh, Nori. You went to um, Drink Champs. Damn right. I be watching. I be watching that shit. So Nori's about to start up a, a health insurance thing for like OG rappers. And I, I know of Nori too. I like. I, well, I think all rappers. Did. I know he made an impact on the culture. 
You know what I'm saying? I don't you know like a whole lot, impact but now. I know some that. of them songs is bangers that I heard. That nigga fired. Or he was fired. You seen the state property? Damn right. Yeah, he was in that. He was in that. I seen the clip. <laughs> see, <clears throat> but I ain't see like see that's what I'm saying. So you know how like with books and shit like that, and when you read them the second time or the third time, you start. So like sometimes I can go and watch Friday or next Friday, and I might laugh at something different yeah. that I laughed at when I was when I first watched it when it first came out. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, that's why I like, that's when you know some shit is classic, when you can go back and you can appreciate it, keep appreciating it. That's when it's a forever soul. I keep reiterating that. But you didn't really even say what you said on the phone, cuz. What I said on the phone? You was like, um, you was like, I, I was listening to, oh, you did. You said I was listening to forever souls. No. Nah, you said, what was it? No, Delusional Heart. That's what I think that's why I said on the phone. So, what's your top five songs on? Forever so, so I haven't listened to the whole thing yet. All right. But out of I think I heard the first half. The my favorite so far is probably the intro, delusional, mm. and then um you got a good ear. Uh, one more, just one more. That's it. I can't remember. The, I can't remember anything more off the table. Dream the dream joint is hard. Dreamers the dreamers. Yeah, that was that's on, that's the, on YouTube. I so I had like yeah, I had dropped a, like a different tape called Shadows Poet. Right, it was initially from sh- like this tape. I oh, so called. wait, dreamers is off Shadows Poet. Yeah, but it was initially a project that was called, um, it was like Shadows of Poetry, but I'm going to revisit Shadows of Poetry. It's going to be, so I got a lineup for this shit, right? Yeah. So how I want to do it, I, uh, so after Mac Tub and it was written, you know what I'm saying? I want to have about 24 songs, just give them that shit, right? I want to come with the Soul Child, right? And then um, Soul Child wanted to be real spiritual, you know what I'm saying? Real personal. I might do that shit dolo. You know what I'm saying? Or I may Which have... Like no, no features? Or are you going to do all the production and shit too? Like, um... Like, no features. I ain't okay. doing... Like, the production is, like, from the, like, um, producers that's from home. Like, yeah. some of the most talented um, producers uh, from the crib that's on that joint. Um, Seiko on that joint. You know, he made Julio. Yeah, Zico, Zico, classic though. Zico, Zico made gutter gutter and um half of the time for Yon. He that made right Yeah, he made Who's that? I feel like um Is it Izzy? Isn't it don't you be working is there, is there a producer named like Izzy something my tripping? Yeah, Izzy the DJ? Is he a DJ or a producer? Izzy do everything. Okay, so okay, okay. Yeah, okay. Izzy, yeah, Izzy a motherfucking yeah, he's a goat. That nigga just do a bunch of different shit though. Like, I like he just, but really like he a DJ and he like, shit. He be like rocking her party. He at for real. He like, yeah. He know how to do that shit. He him, and with that, and I feel like he he gonna eventually get to a point where he, you know what I mean. That's what I'm saying. All us and then we all coming up. All this shit gonna come together. You know what I'm saying. Then it's gonna be like say like. I start a record label, um, Yan, Edo, Takin, you know what I'm saying? Um, we all start, we all start like labels of our own, and we find talent from all over the world. But they feeling connected to Virginia, or coming, you know what I mean? That's how that shit might be. And then it's be like, all right, this that's what we was missing, just the. The, the the artists, you know what I'm saying? It's like just the boom boom. We just need to keep working and get, to get get to them points, keep creating music on the highest levels. And I feel like it don't even gotta be like necessarily like unified. Like yeah, we would hope for unified and unity, but you know that shit ain't always. You know what I mean? Like some people just don't. Is some people? It's just you know how that shit go. It just don't come together. It's yeah, just, you know what I'm saying? More division. It should change. Hey, do you um do you you ever we we still in what? Fuck with me, cuz. We, oh, yeah, we, we still here, we still here. We still on the pot. We still on the pot. We still on the pot. So look Fuck with me, cuz. Cause it's still on you. Don't try to you in the hot seat right now. Don't try to you like how, you see how so you know what I mean? All right. That was <laughs> that was fire. Look though, so do you listen to do you you listen to Pop any or like Bob Marley or, or I've heard some it, of all their songs, but I'm never really dive too too deep in. And a touch up on LL Cool J right quick, right? Yeah. So 
I actually wanted to like remix one of his joints. Um that I need love joint. Okay. That shit fire. I look too high cuz. Uh, yeah, I mean, kind of. Uh, <laughs> I feel like I look high. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck all that shit, cuz. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you about to do the LL Cool J remix? Yeah, but I was thinking about, I, I was thinking about remix. Hey, I can get that joint right Oh, there. yeah, for sure. I, f- I always forget to tell guests that the water's for them, but yeah. I figured that, though. They was all cold and shit right there, cuz. I was <laughs> like, look, the first one, I ain't gonna lie, cuz. I was like, I just, I'm like, I started feeling a, a little dehydrated. I said, I usually drink their park, but they was out. look a little good, and that's my dog. The water choice is, I was like, damn, he got the. Nah, we on their park, but they was out, yeah. I, we fucking went to spring water. Yeah, spring water. You listen to Pac any? Nah, I didn't, I didn't dive like too too deep into Pac, but I've heard, you know what I'm saying, some of his, some of his music. Have you seen like his messages? Yeah, to me, he's more of a. That's really resonated with me with Pac more. Just seeing his interviews and shit like that. How'd that make you feel? How'd it make me feel? Yeah. Seeing his interviews? Yeah. Um, I don't know if I caught it at the time, but um, I, uh, I think now when I look like, I think about it now, it's probably like, um, just like I said, we were talking about passion earlier. Yeah. How his passion, <clears throat> how his passion resonated with me. Um, even through camera is what he was saying, and like how that even inspired me in that way. Like, um, you, did you did you feel it though, mate? Like, does it does it make you feel like does it empower you spiritually, like or or just was, like yeah. mentally, yeah. like on a different level? Like, yeah, no, there's definitely certain on, on there's a, on yeah, a level? yeah, there's uh, things in this you know what I'm saying in this world and then even in, uh, that are um, that make you feel like that, and then even some people entertainment you gonna see, touch on that. You see you know how we all the same though. Yeah, but why can't we appreciate that? We just touching up in earlier in a conversation, and the off world podcast, right? I thought we was on fuck with me, cuz. Nah, nah, I'm saying, but earlier yeah. in the conversation when we was in, oh, when we was on the off world, I guess off world yeah. podcast, yeah, we yeah. touched up like on how what are we talking about right now. I just so we were talking about the LL Cool J joint. We were talking about Pac, uh, how he made me feel, the yeah. the passion, the uh, the spiritual. Um, how made me feel good? Yeah. Um, so I, and I was saying, oh, earlier, and I was like, how it's so divided? Why can't it just be like it's, it's like one? We all one. That's how we unify. You see how you can feel what he was saying, and y'all come from two different places. No, I, I feel like I see I see myself in people. But why can't the whole world be that way? Because is that a good thing or a bad thing? I mean, I mean, probably ultimately a good thing. Wouldn't that be love? Yeah. <clears throat> bro, I think I mean who knows, bro? Why why that's why? that's that's the question of human history. Or, so or, like or, even or, even even like excuse me too, but I'm just you know I'm in the no, vibe too. But look, even if say like back in the back when with like Adolf Hitler, right? With 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 Jews. Did you say you Muslim, right? Yeah. But what you said about Jews earlier? No, I was just saying like I don't know any Jews, so it's like I'm. We were talking about like how how Bosnian people like probably think about black people, because because there there isn't in there. Any so people there. yeah, so is like Jews is black people to y'all? No, I'm just saying like I was just put comparing that to like um, a group of people that I really don't have any interaction with. Oh, and, and like that how norm. I feel about them, and just like I, I really don't, I don't really think about them. Oh you know yeah, all right, all right, see. We just all trying to we just trying to tie it all into yeah, one, right? Yeah, for sure. But yeah, we touched up on love and then music. Two thousand and nine. You started in two thousand and nine. <laughs> when the hey, last? <clears throat> my bad, Brody. No, you good. <laughs> hey, Brody. When the last time you um? Hey, look. Hey, cub. We need to see the Bosnian woman, cub. <laughs> <laughs> We need to see him, but all right. Even because I don't know what you got, you, you know. Uh, so I gotta respect what's going on too. I, I apologize if it got too, cause I gotta, you know, yeah. my fault. We ain't gonna go. We ain't gonna get too like like out there, cause we can, you know. We can do that. No, we can do that another time. We chopping it up though. We ain't gonna get too too personal. But so, when the last time you dropped the record? Um, I actually just shot a, a music video. For a new song, when I was in Bosnia, it dropped like a couple weeks ago, like two, three weeks ago. 
Like you in Bosnia. Yeah. yeah. I shot it on this at this little soccer field, uh, where all the kids were just me and a bunch of kids from the neighborhood. For real. Yeah, they the song it's funny because on the song, the song's called Black Star. I was this, the hook is like uh I said I feel like a rap star, just listen to that new black star. And so on the, on the song I'm saying I feel like a rap star, and it's all these kids that are literally looking at me like a rap star. They're like following me on Instagram and shit, and like, damn, shit was funny. That's fire! But you made that impact at home. Yeah. So that that song was supposed to be. So I dropped my debut album last year on my birthday, September 14th. Me and Nas got the same birthday. Um, and so that my debut shit was called. Um, and it's, look, I feel like like say like, excuse me, you I want you to continue to speak though. Yeah. But like this interview right here, that's gonna be one of them shits that. With time, as the music grow, and as the podcast grow, this shit just gonna be, it should become classic with time. Cause we we was we talk like like I feel like the conversation was a good conversation. I, I don't even know if this shit went how like a podcast supposed to go. Do you listen to podcasts? First of all, this is actually how they go. This is a perfect. This, uh, how this is exactly how podcasts go. Yeah. Nah, but I be seeing some shit. I ain't gonna act like I'm be. I be seeing shit. But, but I'm not gonna say that because there's, there's different structures to different podcasts. That's what I'm but saying. But I feel like, like to me these are the best ones. Yeah, yeah, but it, you know it'd be different settings and different. You know what I mean? Everybody so, does their thing a little different. Like, yeah, some Jones be like, yeah, that shit. There's some ones that, that I would recommend, like watching just uh, like Joe Rogan podcast. Mike Tyson got one that's fire. Mike Hot Tyson. It's called Hot Boxing. Yeah. Smoke a blunt with you and chop it up. For real. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people have podcasts, man. Right Damn, we did some shit like that though. Exactly. That's them. The shits that took off though. <clears throat> This is the same structure as the shits that be out of here. So you right in a sense. Hopefully. That's yeah. love. Fire. I love. feel like I feel like with us just having this conversation and just with the different topics we got touched up on. I feel like like as long no matter how this shit go, right? As long as we appreciate it and we love it. To me this shit is creating moments. You know what I'm saying? We just create, this is a moment right here that's going to live forever. Just like it's, like you say, your music, I feel like these conversations live forever. These, um, um, even like I, I, think I said it before too, like just the thoughts we're having right now. If you didn't come out and do this, you wouldn't have, you wouldn't have been sitting at home just thinking about all these thoughts. Like these thoughts all arose in your mind from doing this. Now that can might inspire some other ideas you might get after this or open up some new pathways or like, so it's all like a part of it, like. You know what I'm saying, like. Hey, and it touched up. Hey, bro, you know, eight oh five. He got some fire coming. Yeah. Eight oh, Ty King. Um. Eight oh, Ty King. Rounds. Hey, everybody coming though. I'm talking. About, there's a lot of people like. I feel like I ain't gonna be able to just say everybody, but it's so many. It's a like, and everybody getting better too. You know what I'm saying? I, and I just feel like, like I said, with us all like coming up, dog. Man, I just feel like as long as we all want to see each other win, you know what I'm saying? Root for that. We should all be good. You know what I'm saying? Like some people gonna come together, some people not. It's like, but as long as we can stay in our our uh, vibes and our, uh, you know what I'm saying, universe, stay on our, uh, you know what I mean? It's just like, and just root, root for each other and just work hard. I think we're going to get to them points. That's just what's going to happen. You got to work for it, though. I know you just seen Bron say it. This LeBron, he's still, he's still working to this day. That's what I'm saying. You got to, it's just about who you look up to. You get what I'm saying? That's why inside of some of these conversations, I be trying to bring up certain people to you. I try to tell you like who kind of inspired me. Cause if you do appreciate me in, in, in the ways that you do, it's like you can learn me a little bit and learn how I learn, you know what I mean? To become who I am in the ways, like with some of the ways I think or the ways I move or who I, you know what I mean? You you know, you see yourself in people, right? So then it's like, all right, this is what I would want to, you know? You learn and you just, yeah, but. But, okay, so I was saying, um, so I dropped my debut let's get it. album uh, last year on my birthday, 2021. No, it was called uh, Play This Tonight When the World Is Quiet. So that shit, that shit is really special to me. I feel like, that's going, I feel like it's classic to me. Um, uh, then this year I was going to drop one on my birthday again. So that's what the single was off of, Black Star. So the, the, my next album is about to be called I Was You In Another Life. 
So I was gonna drop that. It was gonna be a mixtape event. Uh, at first, I was gonna drop on my birthday, but then I was like, honestly, I, I felt like I wasn't treating it special enough. So it's not coming out yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add more to it now. It's gonna be like a my official second album. So I'm just gonna take more time with that. Um, right now, I'm just in the stage where I'm not really rushing with my music. I just, I'm just kind of going with the flow. Do you still feel like a baby? I don't know if I, I don't know a baby, but I definitely feel like a kid still. Not like a like a baby in like the world, cause we grown as men. I'm saying like, <laughs> you know, I'm saying like, hey, nah, real talk. <laughs> I'm saying like like in the music aspect, like I, oh, in, in my uh, mind, I be feeling like yeah, nigga. Much. All right, I feel like I'm still. I, like, I haven't found my sound all the nigga, way. Nigga, all right, I'm decent, right? But yeah. I'm still a baby for real with this shit. Like, and that's why you know people just to see potential in people. Like some people just got it. But even sometimes young, like that's how I want. That's how I'm gonna forever look at it. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's you never too late. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? As long as you like, it's just about perspective. Like you said earlier, we count it all tiny into one, really. Um, but it's just about your perspective for for. I don't think we're running out of time. You know what I'm saying? Maybe in the aspect of just how shit be going out here, you know, shit be like, you know, but. As long as you're trying to move the right ways, you know? I love God it. God got us, you know? I love it. But, but yeah, all right, so, back to the... The Fuck With Me Club podcast? Back to the Fuck With Me Club podcast, club. So, who is your favorite artist in the 757? Mm. Matter of fact, I really feel like I I seen you say something. Like, did you did it? Did I you? Might have, I might have gave like a before? list on. I might have gave a list on the Chris Dassey episode. All right, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So what? What's that mean? I'm fucking with you, cuz you get what I mean. I, I mean, think actually you was on my list. Yeah, on, I appreciate you. That. That's what I'm saying. That's why yeah. I brought it up because I needed to say I appreciate you in person. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate you. Too. Already, already. That's I appreciate about. you. Real talk, bro, because everybody not going to believe in you. You know what I'm saying? And that's okay. You know what I'm saying? Like you said earlier, it's not for everybody. It's not It's not for everybody, cuz. But as long as you just try to <clears throat> grow on some shit, you know? Yeah. You can make some shit shape. I'm on some... I feel like I'm on some Matrix shit right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I used to, to want to be a hacker when I was a kid. A hacker dog? Yeah. I was watching The Matrix in like fifth grade. Trying to hack some shit. Break free from the Matrix. We're going to have some conversations after the podcast. <laughs> now, you know with that kind of stuff, we ain't going to go too deep into that. Because uh, right you sound, you got an intelligent mind, right? So where you you feel like, hey, you seen the Jeffrey Diamond shit? What's the shit called? I did see it, yeah. I seen that shit. He sick, cuz. That nigga That sick, shit was wild. That Honestly, nigga. I never even heard about that till that out. I never heard about... um. Like that going on to the show. I ain't even get show. to see the end of the shit. Like I ain't and like I'm gonna end up finishing and seeing it because I be seeing how people like people. All right, boom, I don't know. They acting like it ended kind of pretty good or something like that. But that was just like a interesting, a interesting different perspective on like just I guess the the character of the movie. You get what I'm saying? Like they they was that shit was some wild shit, bro. That nigga. All right, so when what's they, your top five? All right, since we that's what we talking about, what's your top five hood movies? <laughs> I don't know if I can name five right now. I mean, number one probably got to be Friday. I seen that hella times coming up. You say you say what? Friday, classic. Yeah. Um, hey, cuz I don't even know. I don't even think I can name five honestly. What's yours? Yeah, what's yours? Friday. Fuck with. Hey, my, I think one of my favorite movies is like Lion, Lion King, my favorite movie. Yo, so I know I'm about to cut you off. I seen Incredibles for the first time like a year or two ago. Yeah. Whoa. I was like, how have I never seen this? Damn. Watch all, watch, I think there's, a, there's like two or three of them, right? Watch all of them. Um, I was like, yeah, that's a really good movie to me. Yeah, Lion King, my favorite movie. Uh, and yeah, oh yeah, I had to touch y'all like, Pretty Savage going crazy too. Her music about to come too. I was gonna ask you that too. Well, yeah, I go her shit fire. She OD. Wait, that that's your um, 
That's your son's mother? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I, 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 like, I, like I said, I've seen you guys from a distance back in the day. I, I, thought, I figured you guys were dating or something, but I wasn't really sure. No, nah, look, I thought, look, I thought, like, the way you had just said that was, like, respect. It was, like, respectable, dog. Oh, okay. I, 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 yeah, yeah, that was, like, yeah, I, okay. I fought with that. I fought with that, yeah. <laughs> that sounds better than Big Mo. Yeah, yeah. No, nah, you know what I mean? That was respectable, dog. That's why I'm like, yeah. And I'm also, I didn't know if you guys were t- that was together. Decent, so. That was a decent job, but, yeah. Yeah, I love Shiloh, dog. Hey, look, my baby, I be, he gonna be a superstar. I'm telling you, dog. I just this man. Woo! I think I'm a see. I'm gonna have to like man. I'm gonna have to record his life. I'm gonna have to find a way, cause he gonna be he gonna be special. Even when he was like when he was like coming here, it was like. It's like we had a dream, an epiphany. We seen someone for real, and <clears throat> it was like a musical. Like, Shallow was musical. And you know, like, she fire. You know what I'm saying? Then I do my thing. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, he musical. Woo! I don't know, cuz. Shot crazy, though. I love that, baby. I love that baby dog. But all right, back to fuck with me, cuz, right? Some of this shit a little personal. We gon' we ain't gonna get to, you know what I mean? But I mean, but I don't even know. I don't know. I just probably have to see it, cuz. You know what I'm saying? I don't, it's all good. But all right. So where did you grow up out in Virginia? Out here, Newport News. How was it over here? That was cool. I went to Warwick. Um, yeah, I, like I, I said, played, I, feel I like played I just, against them um, in high school. Huh? I played against work. For real? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I never played sports in high school. I played soccer back in the day for like four years, and I played football for one year, like before high school. For real? Um, yeah, I played C. Matter of fact, and when I played football, I played uh, C American. For real? Yeah. Damn. But it was cool. I think growing up out here, like I said earlier, really just kind of allowed me just to interact with a bunch of different people, different like kinds of people. Oh, for real? Yeah. Damn. So, like, did you, like, do skateboarding or surfing? You yeah, ever did yeah, that I, yeah I grew up skating. I skateboarded for, um, for a few years. I rode, uh, you know what fixed gears are? Fixed gear bikes? Mm-mm. I rode those for, a couple, like, a year or two. It's like, um, it looks kind of like a 10-speed, like yeah. the skinny ones with the skinny tires. Yeah. But the the um, the pedals are attached directly to the back wheels. So the while the tire is moving, so are the pedals. You can't, like, you can't ride without the with the pedals moving. They're always moving. And then you can ride backwards, too. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that's crazy. Yeah, so it's almost like people, it's kind of like, the vibe is like surfing on a bike on the street. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of the vibe. Like, you can, like, skid and shit. Like, it was, it was a vibe. That, that was my life for, like, a year or two. Um, but yeah, I skated. I tried a bunch of shit, honestly. I did ballroom dance for a, a little bit in middle school. What's that? Some dance class. I really was trying to do it to fuck, like, fuck with some girls. Oh, for but real? It, was, it wasn't really no, like, girls I was trying to fuck with in there, so I, I kind of quit. So what type what type of girls like you was like rocking with coming up? <laughs> I All right. can't. Remember. All right. Yeah, fuck you know that. what I'm saying? Yeah. Fuck Whoever that. I thought was bad at the time. Like uh, you ever dealt, you ever dealt with a black black girl? Um, I haven't. I haven't. For real? Yeah. What you gotta do? A mixed girl one time. A mixed girl. Uh, I guess it must probably the same thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, all right. We ain't on that right now. <laughs> we ain't even on that. See, that's my first. Remember, my first you two. I say sometimes it get too personal. Hey, my like, first two girlfriends want, were uh, I don't even Filipino. Want to get in no counter, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So like we ain't gonna. But all right. So back to it though. For real though. Yeah, we can end it soon. We're not gonna like super drag it out too long. Even though it's kind of been long. Hey. We, uh, we, we had. Uh, what we at? We I think we had two twenty something like that. Two fifteen. Oh, we, that ain't bad. How long your Jones be? Usually be like an hour. Damn, we might this, have this, to this, I thought this was legendary. For real? Yeah, for real. <laughs> he said for real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Hell yeah. What else you want to know, bro? We on your podcast right now. All right, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I ain't want to host. host. I told you I was fucking with you and shit. All right, but. Oh, my God, damn. <clears throat> Hold up. One second. I got about. I got just the, um. Just the question? No, nah, no. Nah, I got like three more decent questions. So, but we touched up on a lot, didn't we, buddy? 
feel like we I feel like we touched on a lot of shit. Yeah. So shit, you probably like, yeah, we touched up on a lot for real. Nah, I need to come. I need to. I need to see what's up with that Bosnia shit though. Do they curse out there? I mean, yeah, yeah. Is it like English or you say Bosnian? Bosnian, yeah. It's, so it's, like, what's that sound like? Let me speak it. Like, yeah. How do you say like, um, something respectful to like a, a, like an elderly person or something? Nah. How do you say like hello? Hello. That's it. That's not that different. You say what? It's just hello. Hello. Yeah. That's fine. Oh, so y'all got like a? Is it like near like German? Nah. Actually, I just found out the other day that actually um, Bosnian or like all the Balkan languages, like Bosnian is in the ba- uh, the Balkan region, mm-hmm. but it's uh, the, I guess it's actually they say it's the hardest language to learn. Damn. Because there's um, Shorty was just telling me this um, the other day. I forgot exactly what she said, but because there's like seven different types of things that make it different or some shit like that. Like you know how in Spanish there's like male and female words. So it's like something like that, but there's like seven different layers to it. So that's why it's like more than other languages. I think the average language has like maybe like three or four. But I think they say it's like one of the harder languages. Yeah. I'm going to preach a Boston ski. I go to the on I. I just said I can speak by if you want to uh, hear how it sounds. Hey, bro, say that shit one more time. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga tweak. <laughs> hey, cuz, <'cause>, tweak it, cuz. <laughs> hey, hey, look, fuck with me, cuz. I mean, that's just, it sounds like, it's like fire, though, because it's just, it's a different language, and if you can just learn it, you can swag it, you can swag anything. Like, what well, you just had said, though? I just said, um, what I say? I said, and I can, I said, I can speak Bosnian if you want to hear how it sounds. Yeah, like, can I hear that shit one more time? Uh, I said, uh, Mogadash to Gohosh directly. Mogadash to Gohosh. I said, I can say whatever you want me to say. You just said what? <laughs> what do you say, cuz? I said, Mogurech, uh, Stagor Hosha Terekin. That's, uh, I can say whatever you want me to say. Damn. That's fine. So, how long it took you to learn English? different languages? Yeah. Well, I mean, I t- actually, the cra- that's just kind of cool story. Um, I actually taught myself English at four years old in like six months. For real. Just by watching TV. I, I learned English through Freshman to Bel Air and Say by the Bell. That was like. What I was watching. I, See, that's I, why. I that's why you gotta have certain kind of conversations because. And we just talked about Cole earlier with role models going diamond and first things first. Rest in peace, Uncle Phil. That's why you, and that's how I, that's how we came up though. So that's how we relate. That's yeah. how we see eye to eye. Like maybe I can't imagine how you came up, or you can't imagine mine. But it's like we seen what we felt like life was through the same eyes in a way. You get what I'm saying? If you just said, you say Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, right? Yeah. With uh, Will Smith, right? Yeah, sure. And he like one of my favorite, bro. That's what I, I want to be able to, <clears throat> I want to be able to like act too. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I got a movie coming out too. For real? Yeah, I had did a short film with um yeah. Treasy, film by Treasy. He like, okay. he like, he like number one with the film. Making as far as with my relationship with him, that's like that's my brother, daddy, my brother too. You know what I'm saying? Stilo, I'm rocking with Stilo. I um, I fuck with Vedlo hard. I, I love a lot of people work too. I ain't get to rock with like everybody I want to, but can you say what the movie's about? Um, which one? You said you, you said you got a movie coming out, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. So it's it's my dad. Um. It's it's kind of based around the story with my dad, so it's I think we're gonna call it Julio. Oh, so it's like oh, it's about you then, okay? Yeah, so I'm playing me, and Po Boy is playing my dad. Dang. So we having a conversation. It's real dialogue, intellect, like it's real. Like we like had a, to like remember this. To we had to remember this shit in our head. So me and Po Boy, we have we had like was like doing rehearsals and like really working hard on this shit. You know what I'm saying? And that joint came out so 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 beautiful, bro. That, oh, hey, bro, yeah, it's done. It's still, I think it's still in a phase. Like it's done. You know what I'm saying? So it's gonna come soon. I oh, really, he edited it probably. And shit. Yeah, he pretty much edited it. You know, that's like a process. You know what I'm saying? Especially when, you know, but it's going, it's coming along really, really well, bro. It's called Julio though. But so Po Boy played my dad, right? And we just having like one of them kind of conversations. Like you'll see how my day go. 
You know what I'm saying? You'll see me and you'll see what I'm thinking inside of my mind while I'm moving. While it's, you know what I'm saying? It's like different pictures. and Bro, that joint is fire, bro. It's a short film, probably about in between 13 and 15 minutes. You know what I'm saying? Um, is there a <clears throat> you got? Is there a release date for it? Nah, it's not a release a release release date yet. But um, I feel like um, soon. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I have earlier. I don't know if I had like I ain't finished right. So I have like a, a this my my schedule. So it's like after Matt Tub, it's the Soul Child. I wanted to be like real, like probably just me. Then after the Soul Child, I want to come with Shadows of Poetry. You know what I'm saying? I I want that one to be about twelve. So, like I got a certain amount of songs I want in my head, and I'm 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 getting to like the point of making a hundred songs. Like my first oh, one project. Like, no, nah, like my first hundred songs. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So like, I feel like I haven't made over a hundred songs. You know what I'm saying? And I am what I am. So if I can work and work and work and work, to who will I be at three hundred songs? Just like who would you be if you read three different books? You get what I'm saying? That type shit. You know what I mean? Because if you take away from the books the, the right way and you apply it to your life, you're going to change. You know what I'm saying? Or or, or a, 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 a skill that you're working on. Or, you know, because you went to school for engineer. No. No, I didn't. Wait. I, I went to college for like three weeks. I went to this. Uh, I went to college for real estate. I got my real estate license. Oh, for real? Yeah, but. I yeah. thought you said earlier you did something though, like you had a, a trade. Uh, electrician. electrician. I didn't go to college for that. I just, I just learned on the job. Electrician. Yeah. Oh, for real? You learned on the job? I learned but, on the job, yeah. But now but, I'm at the point where I'm just kind of doing like side gigs and shit. That's like my side hustle still to this day. Right. But think about if you just read books, like three different books on in that field of work that you didn't know. Of, you know what I'm saying? You're going to be changed. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. It's the same thing with like songs. So like, who am I on the, on the other side of a thousand songs? These other artists... Saying they worked on 300 songs for an album. Like, what? That's what Kendrick said. Mm-hmm. They, untitled Unmastered, that alone, like, it's just really un- the songs that they, sessions from the album. And there was an interview with uh, Punch from Top, the president of Top Dog. He was like, yeah, Kendrick got, like, hard drives. And it's like, this nigga literally will make 100 songs for the album and only, like, 15 of them bitches will come out. He got, like, three, four, five other album worth of material. Off of like, you know what I'm saying? Did you know artists put in that much work as an artist? Were you aware? Yeah. So how many songs you made? Most songs these days I make come out, but I got a lot of songs up. I think I got a, I might even have a hundred songs up on all platforms. How long have you been putting music out? I've been putting out like projects since 2017, but in, in my debut album, my joint was last year, but I've been putting out like collective projects with people, like my friends and stuff, we make music. For real? Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. I'm actually part of a collective called Slum Dogs. We like the crew kind of fell apart. We dropped the project. I think I want to say January first of last year. It's still crazy to me. Like that's for real. Yeah, that's just crazy. It's called Good News Volume One. Cause you know how they they call it the bad news and shit. It's not about like Newport News. Yeah, we we was kind of trying to change that the narrative. Like it's called Good News. Damn, that's crazy, buddy. Damn. And you said, like, kind of, like, broke up. I mean, we're also cool, but the like, crew is not making, you know what I mean? We ain't working together later no more. It's actually, uh, yeah. But it's, like, various ways that that be happening, like, especially yeah. with a group, because there's so many different, that's you know? That's why I commend groups that stay together, because I know that shit's, like, hard, it's not bro. easy That's way do. harder than doing solo. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, but, yeah, man, sometimes at least you try to unify at some point in time in your life. That's the experience you get to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Maybe teach your kids. You know what I'm saying? That's what I feel like. I want to be able to teach Shiloh everything. And earlier, I feel like I ain't say nothing too crazy. When I was like, uh, I'm, we good. I'm tweaking. I'm a little high and shit. I don't, like think, that, it, I don't think you really said nothing. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I'm, yeah, but I'm just trying to like get all the people like I truly love and just say them and just po boy got so much going on with Rocky Ali. You know what I'm saying? He got a, um his his new brand, but you know, Po Boy is also the so you know that's my brother shit. So I rock it like that's my shit. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people like that's my shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So they like they know I'm a Po Boy, right? But he got this other junk called Rocky Ali coming, and he just you got that's what I'm saying. You got to the way he think, bro. He might when he when he see this, he might 
he might want to do it. I don't know, but if he do, I'm telling you, bro, he is superstar, bro. Like Kevin Hart level, that level, no cap. He is on. I'm telling you. But all my brothers like that though. Cold, Smoke, Stick, Lou, all my brothers. I ain't, I can go for I got a lot of brothers. Sam Payne from DC going crazy too. He makes some of my favorite music too. You know her? Huh? I'm gonna have to get you help to Sam Payne. He like so for he a soul he a soul child. Yeah. Not like he like like he his own person. He the young OG, but he fire, bro. I'd be like rocking with him. I rock with everybody. I rock with everybody from home too, for real. But hey, I still want. I want to put it on the record too. I forgot. I think I tweeted this. I told you before. But um, like one day, Return of the Poets, me, you, and um, Will I'm a I feel like that song is gonna get made one day. But we're gonna see. For real. I just want to say that on record. Hey, hold up. Can I use the bathroom right quick? Yeah, I'm for sure. I'm come so, back so you want you want to wrap this up? Yeah, we can wrap it yeah, up. Yeah, we like two and a half hours in. All right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we out of here. I think we I pretty much. You. Yeah, we touched right. on a lot of stuff. The movie, uh, we touched on a lot of stuff. Things I wasn't right. expecting. You said you got the movie coming out. Damn right, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, no release date. Rob and, um, and Trees had, um, they wrote that, man, that joke so fire, bro, I'm telling you. Yeah. Rob Hill is, is a bit, he played a bit role in my life. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Um, is there anything else you want to leave the people with? Nah, you got to you gotta end it. Cause uh, what now we're we back on the Off-Road Podcast? Nah, nah, nah. We ain't on Off-Road yet. <laughs> we still on the fuck with me, cuz. fuck with me, cuz. Yeah. yeah. So what? We we one. <laughs> we gotta say we all gotta say it to end it. One, two, three. Fuck, Fuck with me, with cut. Me, That's the end of the podcast, man. Uh, you got anything left that you wanted to get to uh, people, man? I just want to say, uh, appreciate you guys for tapping in, man. Um, all bros links will be in the description. Like I always say, fuck with the artists from the seven five seven, and um, yeah, we're gonna see y'all next week. Thanks for having me on your podcast. It's been great. Um, hell yeah. Hey, peace. peace and love, man. If you can find some gems inside of this, I hope I can. I hope I covered all the things I needed to. Um, I appreciate you, Brody. As, appreciate as, you, you know man. what I'm saying? And there you go. There you go. So, child. Peace. <laughs>